Oh, hello? Hello? <laughs> hello? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Help! Hi, hi Panda, hi Darkholder. How's it going? Hello, hello. I don't I don't know how to, like the best way to set this up is. Like full screen? Hey Draconic, how's it going? Hey Charlie! <laughs> Ah! Sucks, man. You're you're interrupting this. It's very hype game. <laughs> oh, Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like this really hype music too in the background. <laughs> ah! Dark holder. Oh my goodness, guys. Thank you. It's trumpy goodness. Hello. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you, Soxman, so much for the 36 months. Congrats on three years. Wow. And Darkholder for the 45 months. That's almost that's oh. almost four years. <laughs> ah! Thank you guys for all the support. Hello, how's everyone doing? Wake up, sleeper. Oh, what's that from? Dreaming again? No. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about that. Thanks for reminding me. I have too many windows open. <laughs> you do the work. Hello, Oini Musha. Hello, Retro. Hello, everyone who was hanging out in the Discord. Chit-chatting. This looks cool. How's that volume, guys? Is, do you want me to turn it up for the, for the video? I watched a lot of the events today, but they're all so useless. Yeah, they're... <sighs> Your body is dying. We, were, we were complaining about that, that in the Discord, too. Not a lot of them showed gameplay. That's, um... What'd you think of that Pioneer game, Draconic, though? Because that, that did seem to show a good amount of gameplay. You can remake yourself here. Oh yeah, it's been a couple of weeks since I streamed, right? If I'm talking over anything that anyone's interested in, please just tell me to shut up. But most of this stuff is probably not gonna be on most people's <laughs> wish lists. This does look neat though. This looks actually kind of up my alley. So it's got, uh, looks like dice rolls to it, potentially. Role playing, yep. Risu? Citizen Sleeper. I'm gonna write that one down. Charlie! Risu, thank you. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> thank you so much for the 18 months. Really appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you. Citizen Sleeper, that looked cool. My pen doesn't work. My, my pen, my pen doesn't work. <laughs> ah! You like that Songs of the Conquest one? I don't think I saw that one. That free what type of game was that? Hey, Sparkly! You like that one too? Songs of Conquest. All right, Soxman, have a good dinner. You're gonna miss the future games fest, whatever future future games show. Introducing Band of <laughs> oh, I got a fresh Charlie. Is it okay if it's on the small screen? One man is not enough. Because vid video games. Hey, Charlie. You touching? Don't don't touch, don't. Two. And there you have it, the 2021 PC gaming show. And as I say, she's so confused. It went off without a she's so confused. Huge thanks to my co-host Frankie Ward, <laughs> Mika Burton, and of course my incomparable. She brushes herself. I don't even have to move. She's like, "Yep, this is the good stuff." She's. You can't see it, but she's grabbing my arm that's holding the brush and dragging it into her face. Oh yeah, the ponytail stream. I, I need a haircut, guys. What? So how's everyone been? It's been a minute since we we said hi in the Discord. <laughs> Is everyone enjoying E3? Anyone find anything cooler than Elden Ring that was shown so far, even though it wasn't at, a, at E3? Sean! 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 Sean!
<laughs> oh no, Sean! Sean! <laughs> Sean, she's yelling for you! Fra Frankie's yelling for you! <laughs> How's it going, Sean? <laughs> who is the- does anyone know who this Frankie lady is? I saw her on Purge's Dota 2 streams. He was teaching her how to play Dota 2, but I have no idea who she is. Hi, Melis! How you doing? How's it going? What is this? This is so stupid! Why did they even put this together? Who thought this was a good idea? They need a talking to. The dev bot is gone sentient, people. The dev bot. That is actually be very interesting. That was See how that turns out. She liked the brush and thanks for the brush in. Dark Holder, she appreciates it. She's very, very happy right now. She's purring. Welcome back, everyone. Good girl. There's cat hair everywhere, though. Awesome stuff, as always. Yeah, the indie, um, Draconic, did you catch the Wholesome Games panel? There were a lot of good games on that. I took notes. Always a pleasure to hear from The Replace game. I gotta look at all these afterwards. Honestly, I saw oh yeah, Plague Tale! Shoko is really excited about that too, Darkholder. I, I saw. We were like, Which do we yeah! Talk about? That's cool that that um, ended up getting a sequel. That looked like a really good game. Trash. I mean, post vibes. It to your friends like, recently broke up- I, Oh no. Oh, that's awkward, that Freen. I'm sorry. That's a shit situation to be in. Hopefully they don't make you try to like mediate things. Game. It was just giving me nostalgia feels. I felt like a kid again. Like this looks like she's an esport comment for what esport? Played on Super Nintendo, but again. Oh, do you still watch Purge, Sparkly? Yeah, yeah, I watch him because he helps me sleep. That, He's so bland and dull that, you know, and relaxing. <laughs> no, no offense to Purge. He should do ASMR. He's very relaxing to listen to. <laughs> like Purge reading Dota 2 patch notes is ASMR to me. Yeah. You're so good cool getting brush. Exactly look at look at all this hair we just took off from her. She's she's a new she's a new lady, new lady Charles after uh, her brush. It's, it's, it's just as good as it was then as it is now, you know. Yeah, it's the sponsors did think this was a good idea, and also getting us to vote on the same dang Mech Warrior PC case like ten times that no one cares about, because there's only gonna be one, and uh, one person's gonna win it. No one cares. We were peeking out as soon as that came up. You yeah, haven't been able to pamper Charlie and Aegis. She absolutely, absolutely appreciates it. She's, she's so spoiled. Perfectly in my Hi, Duncan. And, and, doing? Um, again, What'd you miss? Um, yeah. Death. Yeah. Death. Yeah. Did you see Death Trash, Skelly? The the and then there was there was a school the uh, school game, cool game called um, <laughs> Space Sleeper. Was it Space Sleeper? I couldn't write it down. What was the name of that like space game? With I think it was like Space Sleeper or something. Not Resident Sleeper. <laughs> you saw the wholesome? Yeah, there was a lot of cool stuff on there. They actually, if you go on Steam, there's a um, a wholesome games like list that has them all there. E3 exclusive. Oh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Future game show. Am I gonna get DMCA? Would anyone like to place bets? How many DMCA strikes I will get from this stream? I got my, <laughs> my finger like over the mute. I gotta hide my um, taskbar. How do I do that? It's like in the way. There we go. Yeah. I'm gonna just hover over the mute button there. <laughs> just gonna gently place that there. <laughs> No long-haired cat who leaves the house. He lives in covered in white because his fur cannot be controlled. Oh yeah, the long-haired cats get so many mats. My last cat had that and she would get mats on her butt and it was super sad because she would get poop stuck to her butt and we couldn't do anything about it. We had to take her to the vet to shave her butt because she was like semi-feral and obviously would not let us get close to her. To shave her butt, I don't blame her. <laughs> like, I don't think anyone wants their butt shaved. Uh, maybe people want their butt shaved. But that cat didn't. How's the volume, guys? Can you hear? Can you hear the, the gaming? Is it good? Hello, she does have a relaxing voice. Hello! Show powered by w Hello. Black. Hey, Thomas, okay? Family, How you doing? You may know me as Abby Anderson from The Last of Us Part 2, or... It's good. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't pay. Oh, it's Abby. Everyone hates her. Everyone hates you. Exciting game trailers, reveals, and she doesn't look anything like the Abby in the game. Before we get into all that, 
Okay, let me bump up the stream. Thank you, Draconic. I'm sure you're going to be familiar with this person. He's appeared in The Last of Us, Uncharted, God of War. You name it, he's probably in the credits. So without further ado, I can turn ado, it up even a little more. My good friend if you need me to. And continual co-star, Troy Baker. I think Swole's on cooldown. Oh, it's Troy Baker. It's that that man. You look amazing, as always. That's about as loud uh, as I yes, can get with the you stream. you know me from a few video games. Uh, Joel Miller, hey, the T-shirt, hey, Bajan guy, how you guys doing? Agent Welcome. Fortnite. But Mature audiences. Is, so, is gonna be, going to be giving this is gonna be titty. This is gonna be titty. Maybe a, bo a booba. Games and also showcasing developer interviews, <laughs> trailers, <laughs> and a whole lot more, including world premiere. Why is he making he a sexy face? A, a $500 gift card I don't like it. WD Black hard drive. I'm uncomfortable. Troy Baker's sexy face. And we have a new addition to the show this year, the virtual show floor. More She's also later. making a sexy face. But let's kick she, things she off did the with eyebrow the first thing. world virtual premiere. Show and for floor. that, we're going prehistoric. All right, what's it going to be? World premiere, prehistoric game. Is it going to be cavemen? Is it going to be dinosaurs? Thank you, Duncan. Thank you so much for the thousand bits. That's super nice. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. I'm a treat. I'm a treat Charlie with it. <laughs> I use all my stream income to spoil Charlie. I hope that's okay. She deserves it. You been okay, Bushanga? Good to hear. So far, so good. I've been watching E3 too. Got some uh some takeout for for lunch. Saw a relative I haven't seen in a while. Inst instinction. <laughs> Fuck that name. Instinction. <laughs> what? It's got dinosaurs. I'm okay with that. I hope we're getting booba. More hell? exciting than anything that's happened so far. Luke, hi. How you doing? Welcome to E3. This uh, this seems a little dimco to me. Seems a little bit dimka, so I'm gonna keep talking over it in hopes that I do not get banned from Twitch. <laughs> seems it seems it seems a little dimko. There's an ass, yeah, there we go. She's gonna get eaten. Oh, the perspective, no, she's above it. So what makes this a future game? This is what what Is that a pterodactyl or a plane? <laughs> Space. We came to protect the, the dinosaurs? Protect the dinosaurs. Do they look like they need protecting? And then they tried to eat us. That's the plot. That's the plot of the game, my are you doing? Ah, yeah, the Final Fantasy Origin game is getting memed. It's so edgy. You could put hats on the dinosaurs. Instinction is expected hats. in 2022. What's I'm sorry, but the name Instinction is grow. terrible. Song of the Ever Tree is a I'm gonna go back to the drawing board the word for that one. Nature. Let's throw it over to Prideful Sloth HQ oh, yeah, to spooky. find out more. How are you doing? Thanks for popping in. G'day from Prideful oh, Sloth HQ. Slot. I'm Adam. And I'm Cheryl, and we're the design you team for Grow Song of the Ever okay. Tree. Yeah, grow is Prideful Sloth's latest project that we're working on with <gasps> five games. Grow Song of the Ever Tree is a beautiful sandbox game about growing new worlds. Building a town and bringing the harmony back to the land. Hands. Grow will be available later this year on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. Dino Crisis, so yeah, right? Kind of, kind of had Dino Crisis, but shittier Once vibes. Upon a time. I know, Luke, the E3 schedule is really rough for people in, uh, great and small. in the eastern side of the, the world. Beauty of the worlds was unrivaled. This looks pretty. The people thrived and lived in harmony with the land around them. This looks very, very wholesome. But this harmony was not to last. Slowly, oh, until the bad stuff happened. Notice, the withering was creeping out. The from the yeah, it was cute, and then it got spooky. Once it took hold, <laughs> there was little that could be done. Our lands were overrun, oh, and no. all that was cherished disappeared before us. Is the volume good now, guys? All was not lost. I think I can only turn it up a little smidge more. Brave soul stayed behind. Support from their friends. <laughs> this is like Beauty and the Beast shit. <laughs> Book with the face. It's a bit too low. I, I can do the audio compressor setting, but it fucks things up a little. 
and bring life back to our world. It's like if I do this. I don't know if that's better or worse. I, I'm not really quite sure what that setting does on Franker's faces. Grow. This audio Song compressor. The I don't know if you guys use that. There's an audio compressor down there. And that it boosts was the Grow. volume. Song of the Evertree, which is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch in 2021. I don't know if I would play that. Okay, Laura, that but was it looks extremely cute. cute. But have you considered? <laughs> More dinosaurs. No, it's not my birthday huh? soon. Just Aside from my birthday every being every day, because it's a game. <laughs> uh, 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 my birthday's uh, in March. <laughs> uh, uh, I hope it's not March yet. But uh, yeah, I've been doing okay. Oh, Dimka. This Dimka. Is a very different <laughs> world. If they Dimka me for the Jurassic Park thing, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. Hi, I'm Rich Newbold, game director at Frontier Development. So as you may have seen earlier at the PC game show, we're working on Jurassic World Evolution 2. Volume we're is really low, you disagree? It, now is it too loud? to creating the most authentic Jurassic experience yet. We've got tons of new features across four different game modes. It seems okay to me now, our original the volume. Jurassic campaign, which is a story set after the events of No one needs to hear this guy talking Kingdom. anywhere, right? You're going to be leading efforts <laughs> to contain, control, and conserve all those dinosaurs now running out in the wild. I love Jurassic Park as films, a franchise, voiced by original talent, but it really... Goldblum. And in the game, I was saying earlier, I just wish there was a better type of game for it. New dinosaur, like, I know Animus is joking about Trespasser, <laughs> the Trespasser <laughs> remake, but I'm just like, really to be not a simulation a Jurassic Park game. game itself. This is a from our species field guide series. Like, a, like an action RPG would be fun. The many prehistoric species we have in the game. This is an iconic or even like a oh. remake of the old uh, Science Brother ones, platformer ones. Never seen before in Jurassic World Evolution. I hope you enjoy it and are looking forward oh, to the shit. game releasing later this year. Sounds fine. Okay, you adjusted down your own volume. The main thing is the volume of my voice versus the shit in the back, because I know people are gonna want to listen to some of it. Is one of the most but I'm still gonna talk to ever <laughs> over some of it. it is best I didn't play the Super Nintendo when I played the Game Boy one. And never These beat it. Are not just I think it was a Lost World game. The brow horns in particular can inflict considerable damage to any dinosaur that Pretty dares awesome. to provoke it. This is a good mix. Okay, thank you, Draconic. Thank you. That was Jurassic World Has Evolution anyone played the first one? 2, which is launching in 2021 Evolution on 1, I think it was PS4, free on the Epic Store, wasn't it, Xbox for a while? One and Xbox Series I think X I have it somewhere. <laughs> I remember getting it somewhere and not okay, paying money for it. Section, we're but I forget the joys where... of E3 to your home with a series of demos you can play right now. Ooh, That's demos! Right. Today. This is Today. the Future Game Show virtual show floor. And remember, oh, if shit. any of the featured games grab your interest, you can try them out now by heading to the Future Game Show Steam page. There's so too many the demos, and they're all timed. Laura is waiting. Steam's doing a demo thing in a few days, too. Who has yes, time to play all these demos? Welcome to the Future Game Show's virtual E3 You think it was free? Okay, I'll have to look. look Maybe fun it, to mess around with. I am looking at it. Another friend it of yours incredible. played it. They, like, she was really into it. it. Yeah, it you seems know, like the a pretty good the, you know, type of simulation game if you're into that genre. Musk? It's fine. Uh, but man, the darkness? The perfection. Planet Coaster did, isn't it? All right, it? enough reminiscing. <laughs> Let's check out some games. I'd like to start by showing you a tale it, of paper. This is a striking Ooh. platformer from Open House Games, where you striking. transform to solve puzzles in an oversized world, dodging creepy crawlies and spider. mischievous Roombas. <laughs> and now for another tale of paper, as you shift packing boxes in the house moving sim, Unpacking? get packed. Nope, there's a different loaded. packing game. As you can see, it's all about <laughs> moving couches. On a couch with your friends in couch co op. So, what is It's gonna be the... available on Xbox One, I PlayStation don't 4, and PC, and is also back time demos on PS5 and Xbox One. Like, what, what is the incentive to are time you, demos for devs? Yes. Hey, Laura. Do you I don't think they generate sure, any more hype. You, you have. Wait, what's that? Oh, oh, don't, you know, don't worry, don't worry about them. There's Steam Early Access codes. Go, go, oh, go, 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 go. Someone, get someone get it. Someone get it. Chernobylite Early Access <laughs> right, codes. Yeah, sure. Anyone? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anyone note a, those? A genre cocktail full of co-op action <laughs> RPG combat and finished with a survival twist. How does that sound? That was huh? sneaky. Okay. I said, how's a... I heard what you said. Genre... Tell me about the game. This is have an idea of just Walkers, Jurassic which Park sees you Battle Royale? and up to three other players banding together to tackle procedurally generated worlds full of monsters. But 
You also have then you just poop on everyone from above. Hunger, thirst, and the dreaded That's uh, the equivalent of teabagging. Oh, like the element cold. Got it. Wow. Let's hope no one gets thirsty the enough for with the knife. <laughs> jokes. Anyway, I feel like I've seen that somewhere before. The neck is slightly better. Thank you, Retro. I keep hurting myself, deck. trying to stretch this is to fix myself. This is an RPG that has you solving crimes across multiple virtual what? realities, where your choices this looks like will shape the world around you in and outside of the simulations. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of detectives, check this out. This is a little Backbone too spastic a for me. Gorgeous adventure game from Eggnut set in too a dystopian much. Vancouver, where you must crack cases to clean house in this corrupt post-noir city. All gotten by bots. Plus, I don't. Can you're a raccoon. I think that's probably the only way they could raccoons, put the codes down without them getting snatched up by bots. Adventures with Beacon Pines. This game looks set cute. It's like Twin Magical Peaks with furries. Book. Beacon Pines sends players to a sleepy mountain town where you collect powerful words that can completely alter the narrative in this charming but mysterious tale. You know, I'm detecting a theme with this the anthropomorphic animals. You know, Laura, I've always, huh. Another set of dystopian Vancouver. Interesting. <laughs> it's very Joy, spooky. Focus. I've got a triple threat of fighting. Foxes How's my birthday going? You. you know, the same this as every other day. Tri Fox. Every other birthday. I mean, cartoon brawler where you fight waves of enemies as one of three adaptable combat classes. Crab battle. Right, huh? Yes, totally. But now it's time to get serious. Mankind is gone, but the beavers remain. It's Welcome. not my birthday. It's never my birthday until the one day <laughs> that it is. City builder where players oh, this is cool. This is the Beaver Sam. Yes. This involves everything from constructing dams to crafting carousels. I guess even yes, beavers critters need a solid work-life balance. I would play that this. They do, that they I don't really do. like sim games, but so what's next? playing as a beaver never seems kind of compelling. The Rift Breaker is here. Wow. Period French moods. How you doing? What was that? It's not my birthday. Is what I would say. Wait, your birthday was really yesterday, Luke. Game, Happy birthday! Which is a base building survival game where Happy you can slash your way through Base building survival creatures. game. Look at it. Sleepy. Oh, no. Making no, no, me no, sleepy. No. I want to hear more from the Rift Breaker. There's so much shit going okay. on. Maybe after. This, this is for people who like Starcraft. And with that, we've reached the end of our little tour. But remember, you can go hands-on with me, all of these games like right look. now by visiting the Future Game Show yeah, page on Yeah, there's nothing wrong with Steam. furry games. Now, there's an audience. I've, I've played some furry games before. Uh, no, probably. Oh, that's not, that's update on, preference. Maybe not update. on stream. Just, may, Laura, can you help me out just suggest? <laughs> I'm trying bit. to think of a furry game. <laughs> okay, we're back. Quick note from here on in. Is your raft on a free game? Pop up on screen during a trailer. It means you can visit the future game. Yeah, the, be the beaver jokes are like a low hanging fruit there. Go hands on with the game immediately. Oh, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog's a furry. Oh, so, uh, so Sega's supposed to be at this panel somewhere. <laughs> I was doing Rocky. Sorry, I just always wanted to do that. It's because our next game is all about floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. This is so Check out this exclusive it's like all presentation over the place. from Steel City Interactive about eSports Boxing Club. It's like, look at this, look at this beaver sim game, and then space game, and then boxing, and it's like all the fuck boxing over the place. brings you the greatest fight roster in video game history. <sighs> With over 200 boxing. fighters all inside, we've got some of the biggest and most anticipated Do people get excited about this? From the absolute legends of the sport. Are there people out there that are like, exciting names and freaking out about this right now? Oh! Yeah, the NCA. first women's division ever. Women boxing. Oh, no one cares. <laughs> you think people don't care about box boxing? Let's they really don't care about women's boxing. Visuals <laughs> and gameplay that are really don't care about that. the greatest of all time. That's good. There's definitely one for the grandkids and stuff to see. There really aren't many women's sports game games. Actually, come to think of it. Up, so I say it's going to like, be quite cool. The, the existing sports franchises don't have women in them, do they? Like, the NBA games and so the, the FIFA games and stuff, I'm assuming it's all dudes. It's all about fluidity. I don't do sports ball, so I don't know. Angles, recreating mannerisms from boxes. Yeah, Punch-Out would be fun. Like a Punch-Out remake or something. This allows us to recreate realistic knockdowns. You know what would be Even fun for a punch-out remake if you could use the Joy-Cons to punch really shit? You just have one in each hand? Now we've had professional boxes, that would be fun. Professional coaches come into the studio yeah, this is, this is really boring. <laughs> <through motion capture laughs> you don't like boxing! 
during this development. Uh, now we really feel like we you would think I would like boxing because I like yakuza, and it's also like a bunch of shirtless men hitting each other with their fists. Presentation is important to but us, boxing is not studio, very exciting. We're still going to aim high when it comes to production values. The biggest boxing game yet yeah, what <laughs> since Punch Out. It's like the only other one. To PC and There's also Pato Box, P A T O Box, where you play as a duck and you punch things. I don't know if I'm assuming it's not very Esports popular. Boxing Club is coming to PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Series X. I don't think I can go back, Skelly. I would have to, like, click out. Next up, we've got a deeply immersive World War II shooter with over 100 players taking part oh, is this in epic battles, that, that recreating game already using exists? aerial the punching with the and satellite imagery. Joy-Cons. Let's take a closer look at Hell Let Loose. I've heard of this. It's probably another not yet rated. generic pew pew game. Oh yeah! Generic pew pew! Love me some generic pew pew. My name's Max Rhea. I'm Ready to Rumble is a boxing game too? And the lead developer of Hell Let Loose. Ooh, all the Hell Let Loose are on Game Pass. The idea of a couple of hobbyist game developers That's cool. all the way back in 2015. Following a successful Kickstarter, we launched into Ooh. early access in the middle of 2019. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is very exciting. Updates, including this is too, I can't contain my hype. Six new maps, tons of new <laughs> weapons, <laughs> gadgets, and vehicles. After each fight. As well as expanding our unique real-time strategy inspired meta game. It's a game as where a you result, punch. Oh, to sell more than I a million did not know that. First year of early access. Well, they need to. Yeah, they need to make a punch out, but with that instead. I'm excited to announce that we're launching. Out I heard of, of it early access vaguely, on July but I don't know anything about it. With the introduction of the Soviet I'm, forces, I am so excited. Trip, including famous battles. Malice! Like I can't be more excited than possibly excited for this thing. Year by bringing Hell Let Loose to next generation. <laughs> Do any of you guys play this Hell type of game and enjoy it? Grown due to the because throughout the course of E3, I've seen at least ten like generic shooters, pew pew like war shooters. To this ever evolving and I don't know who the audience is, but they do sell quite a bit. First look at what's to come. I don't know who plays these games. I'm assuming most people who watch my stream probably play not these games. Guess they're starting to come back, right? Why World War II all of a sudden? They did make a punch out. Well, they gotta port it to the Switch then. Right, Turconic? But you can do a shooter and, and make it unique make it have fun mechanics or a fun setting to it, but there's just so many war shooters, <laughs> And they're set in the same dang wars. Let Loose is launching on Steam on July they're not even interesting. and coming to Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5 in 2020. Which ones do you play, Panda? So, Laura, have you ever wanted to play XCOM, but in real time, with up to seven of your friends? I'm sorry, I was <laughs> talking over them. It's called Hell yeah, Let Loose, thought, Sparkly. You need to keep your eye on this next game. Hello. My name is Feroz Kravat. Yeah, Borderlands is different. A game dev studio based in Croatia. And for the past few years, we have been working on a Red Sauce Studio game. It is a real time tactical. How do you say his game. first name? It supports up to eight players and has a fully playable co op campaign. For, we are for, ready to show you the first trailer now. So get ready for June 17th when the game launches on Steam and uh, have fun blasting some mutants. You are the executor. A high-class commanding officer with advanced cybernetic capabilities. You're a space marine. You were awakened to lead a secret task force that will counter the threat of stroll mutants and liberate Mars. Space zombies! Yes! Yes! <laughs> this doesn't look terrible. This is also very much not my type of game. Real Welcome time back, executor. Battlefield. The stroll infestation has now infected all colonies on Mars. Build your squad from six unique classes of elite soldier, utilizing their skills to best suit each mission type. Oh god, it's multiplayer. Customize their weapons and tech as well as their stuck as the heel bitch. Abilities. Take command on the battlefield using the command radio to give orders to the whole squad or individual soldiers. Concentrate fire on our resistance looks like a cool one, Dujanga. That looks a bit different. The heat of battle. 
Was that that PS3? Put your friends to the fight and join in up to eight player co op missions to save Mars in our name. Get your ass to Mars. Hey, <laughs> expense. It's pronounced. But <laughs> I'm gonna say, think, you can just go call him Jorge. 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 Purge Earth of a mutant No, they did say that. They did say that, Sparkly, I believe. Steam for this June one at least. 17. Our next game is about delivering mail in a sleepy <laughs> American lakeside town. Let's join Not if Bezos Gamius gets there first. To learn more. Bezos is shooting himself into space soon. I hope he doesn't come back. I think a lot of us hope he doesn't come back. Don't ban me, Twitch. Hi, I'm Dylan from Gamius. Yeah, the and older, great older FPSs are cool. Game Let's have the new blood stuff is so neat. Very close to finishing Lake, a game that's set in the 80s. This looks quaint. You play as Meredith Weiss, who takes a break from her life in the big city to deliver mail in her hometown. It's a job you can do at your own leisure, and you will get to know the people in Providence Oaks along the way. Today, like we're Death excited Stranding, to share an example of an activity after your workday is done. City. Movie night with Angie from the video store. This is fun. It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a Their time. Their faces have no expression so, whatsoever. Which one will it be? This is like deadpan with the mouth moving. My pick? <laughs> All right, let's it's see. It's very creepy. <laughs> yeah, Death Stranding was the middle of nowhere. China? That's true. Blue velvet. Or the Great Mouse Blue Detective. Velvet! That's a good movie to watch with friends. Alright, I'm ready to pick. <laughs> the Great Don't Mouse pick Detective. Blue Velvet! <laughs> Wouldn't have picked you for a Disney fan. Let's watch oh, some David well, Lynch and chill. <laughs> we won't spoil more, and we also can't so say this what game Meredith will probably will have a creepy after spending twist. two weeks in Providence Oaks. Because it's all up to you. Seems Lake like is coming first to Xbox and it PC seems too this cute. September 1st. It seems too wholesome, which Thanks means there's watching. usually something creepy the rest of the that's show. going to happen. You ate yogurt with a fork because you were too lazy to wash the spoon, and now you can't get the yogurt out of the bottom. You just gotta, you gotta use your hands. We're excited to announce that Lake is hands coming are a utensil. Steam, Epic Game Store, and Xbox Series X and Life S Stranding. on September 1st. Apparently, they're remaking. Now, what kind of a Life is strange. Would this be without a new Souls like? Our next game is a pixelated -like. take on the genre following a protagonist what? with a giant obsidian sword. Never, never would have guessed. Love to get back and watch Blue Velvet, right? Can't think In of anything less relaxing to watch dust. than David Lynch. And from that dust, the moon was Casual born. eraser head. Eons of idleness passed before suddenly it shattered. Great celestial chunks cascaded from the heavens Unto Earth. From one prodigious shard spawned humanity. This already sounds and like a Souls Lake. The gods. For a great many years, balance endured until a foul and malevolent deity intervened. Exil spread greed and distrust among his kin, compelling these Show gameplay. calamitous beings to conquer man. Centuries of servitude passed. Until finally, aided by a veiled ally, humanity revolted. The Great Crusade overthrew the old gods, imprisoning them within the sacred walls of the Citadel. At the expense of untold lives, a peace was wrought, but it was not meant to last, for the miscreant Exil returned. Still no gameplay? Conducting atrocious experiments upon his caged kindred. A darkness permeated the lands. Rivers stagnated. Crops failed. And the world of man began to fade. The great moon, witnessing all, wept a I'm trying not to talk shard. over it as much, but it's hard. <laughs> a shard of the purest obsidian. And thus, a glimmer of hope. So have any of you guys ever been sold on a game by a gameplay only, um, story only trailer with no gameplay? That's what I'm wondering as I'm watching all these story only trailers with no gameplay. Customize your if they're effective. Boss rush oh, here we go. When Eldest Souls Finally, on Eldest, and Eldest Souls. Format. It's like July Elden 29th, Ring. <laughs> and now we've got a closer look at the next game from the folks behind <laughs> War Thunder. Here's Tom from Dark Flow Software to guide you through Enlisted. 
that town in Fallout 3 that appeared really innocent until you find out they all are cannibals? Oh my god. Yeah, that seems like something that had happened in Fallout. <laughs> Pro tag with giant sword. Obviously, uh, paying tribute to Guts, like every other Souls-like Souls -like game. Thanks for tuning in. <gasps> war Hopefully game! Our little trailer has got you interested. Pew pew war I'm game! Tom, and I'm part of the team at Dark Heck Software yeah. behind our new game, Enlisted. Heck a yeah! Enlisted! World War II shooter <laughs> with some unique gameplay quirks. There's actually One a cool Enlisted's World War One game, I believe. Mode. That yeah, is isometric survival soldiers, horror, and I cannot so remember the name of it. You can instruct them on how to react to enemies, and most but I have it wish listed or any of them following it on Twitter. I'm gonna button. look it up. You'll only need to respawn when your entire squad is wiped out. This way, you're always kept right in the middle of the action. Although, if you prefer a more traditional shooter experience, we have a flesh. You already play this too, <laughs> where you will only fight against other players. At its core, enlisted aims. You hope you don't miss Sega. I'll let you know. More hardcore. An arcade style shooter. I feel like it's gonna available. be a minute till it gets there. Kill is kept short. A bolt action rifle to the chest. I thought the lore was pretty cool, but it felt shot. perhaps too inspired by Dark Souls. Yeah, it's hard to make a Souls like game hits. that is vehicles as well can of course not be devastating, com but like, have their is completely unique in plot. I feel like the cockpit view and crew inside because the Dark Souls universe is so spot centered around so that kind of cycle of decay and rebirth and all that shit. Progression in Enlisted is Even the gameplay campaigns. with your respawning. Currently, you can fight in Moscow, Normandy, and Berlin with Tunisia Sekiro and Yemen. So... More coming soon. Each campaign features new weapons Sekiro and equipment. So... Firearms can be so improved stupid. to increase their raw performance, and soldiers can be leveled up to grant them specialized oh. perks. Different classes of soldiers are able to equip pew, pew. How's gear. this game, Panda? With specialist classes such is as game right? able to build structures anywhere on the map. Flying was super jank. It's cool that they do put flying in. And even these type of uh, war games that have flying, I think that adds an interesting element to it other than just the, the, the ground-based pew pew in. Firearms, I know um, and when I tried Planet Side 2, it had no flying vehicles in it and it was a train wreck. It was like space war game. They actually used during their respective conflicts. Because of the squad's feature, you'll the never first be step would be maybe targets. not go with the name that seems like the most generic possible. Resu, to be fair, they were probably sick of waiting the time to for Elden Ring. <laughs> You'll easily be able to this is before the Elden Ring the uh, reveal trailer. The AI, however, are very that's what I like too sound. about the Elden Ring trailer. It was very heavily gameplay. There was a lot of gameplay in it. Make sure to give it a try that, yourself. That uh, or it was actually in-game footage. I think a lot of what looked cinematic was just stylized in-game footage. PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S, and currently an open beta. Better with friends because pushing objectives alone can super suck. So it's like like TF2 or something. Once you've signed up. Use the code Definitely need, uh, for free need people to help you out. I've been Tom, and I hope to see you all on the battlefield. Cheers. That was Enlisted, Enlister. which is available now on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S. Next up, we've got a bullet time stunt shooter with fully destructible environments. Oh, <laughs> and the protagonist only has one. Bloodborne Let's Soul! Check out Severed Steel. You got me, you got me interested in French moves. Oh, look at the pew pew! <laughs> Just the foot sticking out. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> this looks fun! My bit rate! Holy shit, my bit rate. I just like the graceful, like. <clears throat> I don't know if it's supposed to look that clowny, but it looks really funny. Oh, this looks satisfying. Like you have, you have a rough day at work. This looks like the type of game to play to unwind, so you don't actually like murder real people. This is this is a game to play after a, a day in a, in a food service job. I like the kind of like classical music too. Oh, and it's got anime butts. Yes. Severed Steel is coming Severed soon on Steel. PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Yes. Okay, notepads at the ready. Elden Ring horse go burr. It's not. It's not even a horse. It's like a goat. Exciting upcoming thing, games that deserve right? your full attention. Here's our future Nothing hits montage this for this channel has deserved my full attention. <laughs> I'm sorry. They already showed these games in literally the last panel. Dice Legacy. <laughs> ah! 
other developers have done more better with the Souls-like genre. Oh, you aren't excited about Elden Ring? I thought it looked really cool. It basically is Dark Souls 4, but that's what people I think were expecting. I don't know, I got really hyped about Sekiro and then I didn't like it that much. So, I'm uh, not gonna get too hyped about Elden Ring, but I do think it looks pretty cool. I like the idea of having more open world exploration to it, because I think From FromSoft can do open world exploration without it being tedious. Because there's not going to be a map. You go from point A to point B, checking off objectives, it'll have natural exploration. The world will make sense to explore. Because the level design is so good in their games. Real murder is bad. Digital murder is fun. Exactly, you get it, Pamela. Real murder bad. So we got video games to blow off steam. That's why it's always such a crazy argument to me when people are like, oh yeah, video games encourage violence. No, they don't. They help people de-stress, so they're not violent. <laughs> like, for real. Okay, I might regret asking this, but, uh... You want to help me with this next one? Almost Unless it's Dota, then that may actually oh, okay. encourage violence. Oh, it's Sonic! Really? No, Skelly's gonna miss Sega! Sonic Colors Ultimate? Sonic Colors Ultimate! Game oh, where's Age? A stage that nobody has seen yet. I hope Sonic does okay without me! <laughs> where's Age and Skelly? <laughs> Did not regret Did not regret it. Hi, everyone. I'm Katie Golden, senior producer at Sega of America. Sega! And I'm excited to share with you an exclusive clip of Tropical Resort from our upcoming release, Sonic Colors Ultimate. So is this what they Enjoy. teased? I hope this is one, isn't what their big tease was on the uh, Sega 20, uh, 30th anniversary stream. There's like a very brief tease at the end of 3D Sonic. Was Sonic Colors a good game? Anyone play Colors? The only 3D Sonic I liked was Adventure 2. Well, that's the only one I really played. This is- it's, it's 3D Sonic, but it's also 2D- 2D Sonic? The levels are 2D? Are they all 2D? Laser. Oh, is this like what? Is this like Kirby Sonic? You get special powers. Your colors was good. I don't. I don't even remember what system it was for. Yeah, the camera's a little bit much. Yeah, so this is this is like this is like Sonic Adventure style. It's. I think it's the mix of the camera and the motion blur is like too much. There's a lot of motion blur going on. Sonic. Right, because he has like that special laser power. This is, a, this is just a remake of an older Sonic though. Or like a remaster. It looks like it's just a resolution upscale from the Wii one if it was a Wii game. Get ready for Sonic Colors Ultimate, which Ultimate. is racing on to PlayStation 4, you were just Xbox Jack One, Rabbit Nintendo that Switch, was your and your mascot. PC on September 7th. Mascot Moving game. swiftly on, we've got a was new management from game from Chucklefish, where you play as a powerful oh, artificial intelligence in control of a space station. Do you want to cool. roll the trailer, Troy? I'm sorry, Laura. I'm afraid I can't do that. I know that you were planning to disconnect me. <laughs> no, you know, never there, mind. there are some D's. Here there were is some D's. Starman, sir. Yeah, it changes the perspective. A lot of the Sonic games do that. <laughs> this looks cute. But again, so many space games are like simulation instead of fun pew pew. Chucklefish is, is a good uh, publisher. It's another game that's coming out um, that I have my eyes on that I cannot remember the name of right now. <laughs> it's a Chucklefish game. Oh, what the heck? East Eastbound? I think it's Chucklefish. Oh, this is an EA? This looks cool. Uh, I really, uh, this uh, this art style reminds me like of the old Game Boy Advance Tactics games. Star Mancer, early access. Star Mancer, I'm gonna write that one down. Star Mancer, 
We're excited I can't remember the other game. Sleep. Is coming Something August Space Sleeper. 2021, and it's available Space. to wish list on Steam. Sleeper. Now. Laura, you know, ever since that lake trailer, I've been thinking, have you ever wondered These names all kind of suck. The, postal service? the, the names like, for the games. That there's just so Oh, Starbound. Much yeah. I didn't know that was Chucklefish. No? Um not not really, no. Okay. <laughs> Resident Sleeper. You're saying you don't know about Jeff and Deborah. Who are Je What are you talking about? I'm just gonna press this button. A World again and War II shooter in space. <laughs> oh, it will. I'm interested. You <laughs> for very dated Kiwi weaponry. Kiwi. To work at the post office. Ah. Why is it so cute? Their names are Jeff and Deborah. <laughs> Why do they have people names? I'm Joel. I'm one of the developers on Kiwi, and I'm gonna show you how a Kiwi level changes over the course of the game. A World War II shooter. So in this room, you're transcribing urgent messages and assembling them ransom note style Clung by stamping them onto the page with your butts. You'll come back to this room every so often throughout the game, but there will always be a new twist to change things up. It's like those magnets that you put on the so fridge. So as summer turns to autumn, mess with. now your word fragments are moving around on conveyor belts, and you'll need to chop certain words in half with the D scrambler to get the pieces. You need. Who squashed my? Jeff and Deborah no, are never gonna, gonna have know. to deal with all kinds of hazardous work conditions. We're never gonna. We got we're sandstorms during never the summer. Never gonna know what got squashed. Mailfly swarms. These guys I had a kiwi no today. Kiwis are delicious. Paranormal activity. This is genuine <laughs> footage of an actual haunting. In winter, the post office gets hit with a huge blizzard. I have no idea what's going on. about sharing the warmth of a single tiny lantern to break through blocks of ice and keep each other from becoming kiwi symbols. Our little heroes are going to face new challenges every level and in every room of the post office, whether they're typing telegrams or packaging this shipping very crates cute. or helping an octopus sort the mail. <laughs> it's all in a day's work for Jeff and Deborah. He's got his own little bathtub. Also, you can dress up your kiwis, so don't say we never did nothing for oh you. Oh my goodness! You can put a little kiwi on August you can put a witch hat for PC and all major consoles, and we hope to see you at the post office. You Thanks can put a watching. witch hat on the kiwi. Koji right, this is a Kojima game. I'm a believer. <laughs> the kiwis are cuter than Norman Reedus. Is coming to PC and all oh yeah, there was that other game, The Lake. 1st, another very exciting See, name for a Next game. Up, we've got a mail delivery. With an attitude, a game show shooter where you earn likes for dunking on competitors and causing a little wanton destruction. Game Will the show circle be unbroken? <laughs> shooter. Get it? Find out in this. Did he make premiere. a Bioshock Infinite joke? Troy Baker, excuse me. No, not a, not allowed. Not not allowed. <laughs> Likes are everything. This is very edgy. You gotta think of the fortune, think of the thing, what the book we face and music. This music. Looks like something that would be on Newgrounds. Not that you weren't there, my right? god! You fight and you die. Um, yeah, that. Maybe it's in game music? Yeah! <laughs> That's not my type of game, but maybe it's someone's type of game. That was Death Run TV, and you can play the pilot right now by heading down wow. to the Future Game Show page on Steam. Should I play? Okay. Should we? Hazmat should we play that after after, after the show, because guys? This next game tasks players with building a team of stalkers to survive New a grounds. 3D scanned recreation of the Chernobyl exclusion zone. Here's more on what's basically to man in Chernobylite. Oh, Chernobylite looks neat. Mówi się, że to co designerzy sobie wymyślają, to jest pisanie z miłosnego. Każdy kiedyś był zakochany, pisał i z miłosny, wydawało mu się, że to jest takie piękne, wspaniałe, a potem po latach znajdował te listy i mówił, Jezus Maria, co ja tu za bzdury pisałem. Zaczynaliśmy właściwie od gry, gdzie skupialiśmy się na przerywaniu, na menedżowaniu swoim czasem i towarzyszami. To wszystko wydawało się... I can talk się, over this one and it's fine because it's all in Russian or something. Ale jest emocjonalnie dosyć nudne. Ja, yeah, there's a lot of the Chernobyl in Russian games. Które gasza, które były dla niego I still think the best one so far, though, is Pioneer. 
I think that looks cool. I think that looks more like a Stalker game than Stalker 2 did. But Stalker 2 didn't really show gameplay. Everything looked kind of scripted. So I have to see how it plays. Oh, it's Polish! Never mind. I'm just stereotyping. It's set in Russian though, right? Look at this stuff happening. Look at the frames. They're really bad. That comes out next month. Wow. Fight Three Chernobylite. When Chernobylite comes, who's your warrior? On July Chernobylite, as well as Pioneer, Xbox or Stalker Two? In the summer. Stalker Two, I think, is only on to catch Xbox. The early access codes during the virtual show floor. You can play Chernobylite right now. Someone, if someone with like two viewers is probably streaming it right now. Please <laughs> Next up, here are our friends at Team 17 to show us what It's not a real Stalker game unless it crashes and, and you lose an hour of gameplay. Let's take a look. <laughs> True. Product not yet rated. All right, enjoy Draconic. Have a good dinner. They already showed this. They already showed this. About 10 minutes ago. Short attention span audience. Yeah. I'm hoping for some sort of teaser for the freaking Outer Wilds DLC in one of these panels, but I don't know what it would be in. Because they keep. The team themselves keeps teasing it on Twitter, which makes me think it'll be revealed at E3. As a Ukrainian, you hate Chernobyl games at this point, it's too much. Are you from Ukraine? That's cool. But yeah, I can see how it would be annoying. It's like every game set in that region of the world is some sort of Chernobyl game. Nothing else. That's like every- that would be like every game freaking uh, related to America is a war game. Because that's all we do. We do war. That's why there's- that's why there's so many war shooters. I guess you can play as other countries though, typically in the war shooters, right? You can choose your choose your country. They really want you to get hell let loose. King of the Sea is totally not that other sea game. Sea of Thieves? Totally not that game. <laughs> I've never actually played Stalker. I've seen people, I've watched playthroughs of Stalker. But uh, it looks amazing. It's like the jank has a special charm to it. Oh yeah, the Chernobyl HBO show is great. It was almost like a horror, but it was uh, very realistic from what I was, uh, I read about it afterwards because I was curious if it was actually as the show depicted and people said it was pretty accurate for a drama. Hammer, did you see the EVE online stuff? We were pinging you in the Discord. There was a, an EVE thing in the last panel. The last season of Game of Thrones was bad. I think it's because uh, George R. R. Martin was preoccupied writing Elden Ring. The runes. There's another Overcooked game. And, oh, it's a free update. Okay, that's good. Because there's already two of them. Stalker speedruns, that seems incredibly masochistic and also hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, some games, some games, I feel like the speedrun streams are just way more entertaining than others just because of how on our Steam page ridiculous really things get. Developer out. Or you can also some games are terrible for speedrunning because they're just really unforgiving so the people reset constantly. Art style, reminiscent of everything from Wes Anderson oh, it's Harold Halibut again. Let's throw it over to the slow bros to talk you through some Harold Halibut again. From stop motion handmade adventure. Again. Harold Halibut. This game does Hi. look really cool, but I've already Sonata, seen it like three times. I'm the director and composer of Harold Halibut. And I'm Olaf, the game's art director. Harold Halibut is a handmade narrative game about friendship and life on a city-sized spaceship stuck under sea. It's been 250 years since your home. An arc-like spaceship fled an Earth on the verge of Cold War to find a habitable planet on which to preserve the human race. You are Harold, a young lab assistant to the ship's lead scientist Jeanne Marot. While most of the other inhabitants have reconciled themselves to a life lived aboard the sunken ship, 
Maro still works tirelessly to find a way to leave the planet. You're playing Eve during it. Someone was saying that. Bio. He's probably playing Eve. We don't want to spoil too much of the story, so let's dive into some gameplay. So this game is actually made You're in able to explore a huge clay. Part of the spaceship, like right claymation the of the game. figures, and then put into a 3D modeling software and well, made that way. the will always have tasks waiting for you. The wonderfully weird this looks like the type of game you'd watch me play. I'm probably gonna busy. stream it very soon. It was very important for Depends on how long it is. Focus on an exciting main Social responsibility. But to create a world full of interesting events and meaningful encounters. And generic the shooters! My favorite! Main story, but also help you get to know more about the many characters that inhabit our world. This game looks so cool. Weaving through the narrative, you'll run into playful interactions like repairing broken 3D printer. Your PDA is always Game of Thrones writers were like, we want to focus on a Star Wars movie. <laughs> George R. R. Martin was like, me as I can make a guy with an animal for this is also where Harold's personal <laughs> That would be as sick. As well what did he actually do for Elden Ring? Does anyone point, know? Might be wondering how we like, what is his actual like, look of the game. influence? Because it looked we very much just like any other FromSoft game. In game in I don't know what his like magic touch is. Because I'm not a George R. Martin fan. We're then able to use motion capturing to create lifelike animations for a huge cast This game took time years. Uh, Skelly, the Sega oh, panel with was day, a Sonic Colors and a remaster soon you into a for the Switch and the PC. That, nobody could that, that was it. It was Sonic Colors. One that may hold I don't know if that's something you're hype about. <laughs> that was it. We're really excited to find out how you like being immersed in this unique world and the feeling of puppeteering. I don't know if it was like a There's remake. A bit of it just looks like a so remaster. All we can say right now is that Harold Halibut will come soonish on PC, PlayStation, soonish. and Xbox. Love it. You can already wish list the Two game years from now. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the show. He worked. Oh, me. Um, Harold Jordan Halibut Martin. is coming soonish. He created PC, the world and PlayStation lore. and Xbox. The world okay, just still yes, looks like FromSoft to me, though. It looks so very far, berserk. So we came up with a wholesome chaser. I'm told that the developers came up with something so sweet uh -oh. and so positive that they just had to call it. <laughs> they just put his name. Seriously, on. if what I'm reading is correct, this one is gonna melt your hearts. Well, I'm ready. I'm ready for wholesome. Do Am and Am, Am and me to design? They have done other games that I know of. This doesn't look wholesome. This actually, yeah. Okay, that was sarcasm. I see, I see what they're doing. Okay. Yeah, this looks crazy. Oh god. <laughs> it, it, it reminds me of like Happy Tree Friends for some reason. In that it's got this cutesy aesthetic and then everything's super fucked up and bloody. Is this out now? Fall. Happy game! Okay, alright, yeah. That looks like it could be fun. Okay, Laura, hope you're still there. <laughs> Happy game. Don't you just watch the same trailer My pen that I actually did? does not work. Joy, I, uh... Oh. Yeah, that was something. What I want to know is who the hell is writing this script? Yeah, yeah Happy I, Tree Friends I, I, sucked. I don't, I don't know, but uh, they're... Happy um, Game. They're telling me that... Uh, but uh, that was just what came to happy mind. Happy Game uh, is coming to PC and Nintendo Switch in 2021. Oh, and uh, Demo is available now if you want to... Um, <clears throat> Him and me is like you really have like a each other. Jaunt into a land of wonder. Maybe. Good luck with that. Your BFFs secretly. Our next game is a gorgeous hand-drawn oh, puzzle looks cool. platformer I've following a young mechanic yeah, in a world. In, uh, Pay attention at the end of this trailer too, for some exciting information about the Minute of Island. Here, this donut date. shaped. Well, at least it's not flat. It's coming to switch. It'll definitely well, fall into the wrong hands. Purpose. It's gonna be some traumatized children. At the same time. Oh, well, look, happy game. We'll get this for little and a Jimmy. Girl named Moore. Childhood trauma. She knows what must be done. When the blinds first so came, people began to panic. And now, the spores are taking hold of whatever remains. Maul's family is still here, however. She has been tasked to protect them. After so this, all, this is like a Chernobyl game, not set in Chernobyl. The only switch. Oddly 
beautiful. I think it looks regularly beautiful. I think it's I think it's beautiful. It looks good. Another stunner of an indie game. <laughs> it's like generic reviews. Minute of violence. Oh, it's out now. Ooh. Minute of violence. That looks cool. I don't know if I would stream something like that, but I may play it. Yes, we are excited to announce that Minute of Island is out now for PC, Mac, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch, and will be arriving on cool. Xbox later this week. They both Next like killing up, off their characters in Bleak the World. At Techland, <laughs> True. Who are tuning the zombie parkour of it's a lot of death in, in the Let's throw it over games. to the developers who are here to answer some of your questions it's about the game. It's all here. Here comes another one. <laughs> Rave reviews. So, so far, what's been the Can standard of this? I don't think there's been anything the that's been like, wow, this is show. really cool. The video presented in the PC Gaming Show brings you closer to Aiden's story. It's dying light again. They just for, showed this during the PC him, Gaming one. How he ends up in the city, and of course, what happened in the old franchise between Another star games. of an indie game right this here. This is a bunch of important information about the old 2 story. When you can't think of specific words okay. to describe the so thing that you're supposed to be reviewing. storylines from the mentioned video. <laughs> Another one of them indie games. This, this sure is indie and also a game. Important part of and also stunning. Dying Light too. Through these quests, you can decide how the city will Anyone super like hyped about Dying city Light city too? Or bring new opportunities for the citizen. I am not. A great example is an opera singer that Timon mentioned in developers. Wait, is there AMA. farming? Some citizens will support your decisions. Some of them will not. But it's up to you to decide how the city Skelly. should look like. We have uh, a lot of game activities. Skelly, your computer would probably spontaneously combust if you tried to run this game. <laughs> How seamless is the co-op experience? It would not have a good would you time. Say that the best way to experience Dying Light 2 is with a friend? It could be. What is cool about the co-op is that it gives you an opportunity to see how the world quick changes time? when your quick friend makes different game? decisions than you. In co-op, you can walk Video in Video games shoes continue. To experience all those differences. Your release. But really, there is not just one way to play Dying Light 2. I don't it's know who hires these How people are you this to review things. I know we all have great fun. Someone gets paid good money but we to also come up want with these to give thoughts. You a deep, thought provoking experience that will let you be in the deal to world for long hours. On top of that, thanks to the choices and consequences, you're becoming a chivalry two pro player esports. Why aren't you on the? the why aren't you at E3, Tonda? Why didn't they? When they feature you? Yeah, well, as you can imagine, Dying Light. Have you have you been playing it, Tonda? I've been watching people stream it. It actually looks pretty fun. I don't. I don't. PVP games make me way too anxious now, but it is fun watching people hack each other to pieces. What is NPCs act differently on each of those levels. Also saw someone get shot in the nuts with an arrow. It was very comical the way you play you're not hyped but you might play it release date well you may be able to play it this year if you really would like to play it you don't trust this thing to run Morrowind Skelly oh your poor PC at least you have a switch because there's there's more games on the switch than I gave it credit for as far as indies go and stuff like that. Xbox Series X and S and PC on December seventh. In the first one, there was Revealed a big during the Nintendo quick time sequence. At the end, you found this really aggravating. This next game is a skateboarding action platformer. I've seen this one before. Here's Simon Bennett from Roll Seven to give you an exclusive look at Ollie Ollie World. Hey, Psychic Pizza. How you doing? Yeah, his keyboard, his uh, PC's uh, notoriously got some issues. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, you have been playing it, Tonda. Nice. How's the community? Because I know Mordhau was like toxic as hell when I was thinking of trying to play that. Hi there. I'm Simon Bennett. But uh, and I'm Chivalry the doesn't seem like it would be as bad. Award winning studio, Roll 7. Yeah, Adventure Time, right with the little ice creams with the faces. Hi, Socks, when you right missed the Sonic really Colors remake. Oli Oli How dare you? You're How dare you? Quirky characters <laughs> on a magical road trip through Rad Stardew Valley. Yeah, the and Stardew Valley market. Add a ton of the bees! Into your trick bag. The bees with the fat bees with the smiley face. I'm sold. There's 2,000 games on the Switch, the studio, yeah, but most of them are shovel work. over a decade on Flow State games. My problem with the Switch they is they have, like, the portable tax. total focus and immersion, <gasps> and it's something that you very much continue to build <gasps> up with Oli Oli World. Ugh, um, the in the indie tax on games on the Switch. 
where they're just more expensive than they would be on PC because they're portable. Pretty aware that you're gonna slam a bunch before you succeed. So for players who want it, this is pretty fun. Challenge is very much still there. New players will be happy to hear that the game will welcome you with open arms. You haven't spent too much time online yet. You're scared. No is there a bot mode Ultimately, to it? We've managed to make failure part of the fun. Yeah, you're gonna get. I feel like that can make or break a game if they have line, good bots. It tastes just for that much for people sweeter. who are too anxious to go online. I like I played Dota 2 with bots for a while after There's I was too anxious so to play it online. To the game. We've even added grabs. Grabs. We're, we're skate burb. Split roots, right to left skating, and a host of insane tricks to keep your fingers busy. There's keep a range of visually and mechanically distinct Busy, can't have them idle, the brim, idle thingies cast, playing video quirky, games. Look at that fish! Beautiful landscapes, cities. I really like this course, art style. This is cute. Trees. <laughs> Oli Oli World Definitely see Adventure PS4, Time, PS5, like Reese said. Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, Nintendo Switch and PC. We can do a mix. Winter. Make sure That's you cool. wish list it now. So it's like easing easing you into <laughs> dealing with that real people. Oli Oli World, which is they they, they did that in Dota as well. You do like people versus bots. Next yes. up, we've got a new game from the team at Odd Bug Studios. Odd Creators Bug. of PSVR's The Lost Bear. Studio. This animated story trailer will introduce you to the world of Tales of Iron. Holly Holly MMO. Story, <laughs> I don't know what genre it is. Yeah, the, it's good that they give people a way to practice. For centuries and longer, rats have fought tirelessly. Is that Geralt? To repel the incessant frog invasions. Is that Geralt? Peace was only ever short-lived. Until finally, a young monarch rose to power. V. Geralt. King I don't know the Rattus, voice actor's name. First of his name, unified the Rat Kingdoms under one rule, repelling Greenwort and his kind back to the putrid swamps from whence they came. Putrid swamps. Crops prospered, families flourished. Isn't that? A magnificent crimson keep climbed ever higher toward the sky. Are they, are they just really channeling him? But as time passed, it's the literally savior grew old, and the kingdom vulnerable once more. His people grew anxious, some claiming to perceive a There's a lot of games that are like mice in a medieval setting for some reason. Had returned with a, a lot of people. Vengeance, amassing an army of unfathomable like this scale. More furries. He burned everything in his path towards the Crimson Keep. You need a group to protect him. If I pick it up, Tom, I'll let you know. Claws, barely able to hold the crown. He had little hope of wielding a sword. It can, uh, it can be a so meat shield. So it was decided. The crown should pass to Whiskers new. Arise, young prince. For the kingdom Gameplay? needs a hero. G Gameplay? And so, your tale begins. Pre-order now. Show me the damn gameplay. I'm not going to pre-order anything. I can't see the game. Question the rain. The iron frog. Please show. <laughs> Tooth and Tail. Doug. There was another one too. Uh, anyway, in Tales of Iron, which is coming to PC and all current console platforms. You Our next video on Discord that gets pretty good movie games okay, and hosted by God of War and Twisted Metal director. They showed David none of Jaffe, none of that game. Recently like. joined their <laughs> Not one bit. <laughs> and there's a pre-order. Well, hello, fellas. It's me, David Jaffe. Great to see you. Got hey, a Jaffe. Mellow, bunch of PlayStation stuff. These days, I'm doing Who some new here? stuff with movie games. He's got a Buddha. These guys, by you know, they hooked up with this in between his phone calls. You've heard of them, Platige Image, one of the best VFX houses in the business. They got a Buddha in his Funko Pops. Love, Death, and Robots. We're making a brand new game, the biggest game we've ever done, by the way. That's all about crime. And you hope it's a grand strategy game with mice. It may be. It's going to be anyone's guess. They didn't show any of it. Settle in, babies. These are the brand new games. Lord, Charlie, there've been a few of them, Tonda. There's so many like freaking... from beyond Ooh. man this is one of the beyond coolest the games I've the played sex in the last game year. it's what turned me on to movie games it's the first sex place. game what you're looking at is the m rated console friendly version of the erotic horror cult classic console friendly version <laughs> that blends love crafty and horror cuz people on consoles are not mature enough I love this game Lust from Beyond. They're not mature enough for game number two is called Cthulhu Fire Titties. Let's you step into the shoes of the only real life superheroes. Poor we got, console gamers. First responders. This game is my childhood fantasy come to life. That looks so bad. This game took me totally by surprise. You're trapped in the wilderness, freezing, hungry, no and now you start to go a little bit insane. May you start seeing all kinds of crazy stuff out there. Winter survival simulator. It's coming soon. Winter Have a great E3 Have survival a great games. I miss simulator. You guys. Just move to soon. New England. I'll tell you how to survive. Oh my god.
Yeah, no one wants to publish it on console. That's true, Skelly, because it won't to sell. David Jaffe. And check it's out a death, death sentence for, more about for a console games game. Upcoming titles. They could put a patch, though, right? They this could sell the game normal and then have a patch, the like a download for the adult. The makers of Story of Seasons and Rune Factory. Okay. Here's a look at their most exciting farming? current and upcoming projects. Is it time for farming? I'm assuming it's farming. Nope, this is the, this is the opposite of the yeah, this is very much the opposite of farming. <laughs> Hi frogs, it's still there. I wish it weren't, but it's still there. How you doing? Welcome to the shit show. Yeah, this is the, don't they strip? Isn't it a play on words? They strip down. That's the thirsty weep game. The Yakuza farming games, <laughs> maybe even more more uh, sexy than Yakuza. Yeah, the story of seasons, people. I'm confused. Oh, she just did the. She just did the. Is this Hearthstone? It's Hearthstone. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh Hearthstone. Here we go. This is this is the good shit. This is the- this is the good- this is what I was expecting. <laughs> Cutesy farming game, not- not the other stuff. Look at it, it's Harvest Moon, basically. Look at how cute it is, look at the cows. Look at the horses. You can ride them. I'd still probably rather play with Blitz. You can get married! You can- you can get married. Great. Hosses! H-O-S-S-E-S. Hosses. It's a remake! Yeah, no it is. It's the same- the same people. Harvest Moon people. This is like farming but with the RPG stuff in it. Okay. Why did the graphics- why are the graphics like PS3 cl class graphics? Because it's a Switch game. Because <laughs> it has to run on the Switch, so it looks- it looks like ass, probably. I don't know. Fending off a monster or two is one thing, but protecting the whole town? Ooh, is that Okami? Charlie? How are you doing? You stuck? Yep, you're stuck. I'll get straight to it. Tomorrow. Yeah. Alright, children. I look forward to working together as colleagues and as rivals. Oh, she's so good! Good girl! Pet the Chorley. Pet the Chorley. She's very happy tonight because she had double dinner, like she's a hobbit or something. I fed her again so she didn't bother me during this stream. Because I fed her early. So she, she had two dinners, she's gonna be fat. Find out more about Xseed's lineup on gamesradar.com. She's gonna be fat, you're gonna be fat. It's okay, This you next it. game is a hack and slash RPG with twin stick shooter elements set in a retro sci-fi world. There are too Here's many a genres. a new gameplay trailer for Batora, Lost Haven. Too many genres in this game. How's it going, I? You can't live in the high life, she is. She really is. All she needs is- she got brushed too. She got to get her fur brush, so. Look at all that Charlie Petten. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Oh yeah. So this doesn't- this just looks like a- this looks like a twin stick shooter, but they hyped it up. Doing all right. Very good. We've had dinner. But, but what about Haven supper? Is coming soon to PC and all current console platforms. And you can sign up to play the closed supper. alpha when it launches on July 21st now. Let's slow things down a bit with a look at the next game from the creators of you've, you've learned, Hospital. You've learned oh, wait, the, uh, I think the I secret saw something about this a few weeks ago. That's also no, how you get no, a very no, obese no, cat very fast. Here's developers Mark Webley, Ben <laughs> Huskins, and Gary Card to tell you all about it and give you a first look at gameplay. I don't know about my new AC, guys. I got a new window AC and it's like not kicking in when it should be. It's concerning. It, it like thinks about it. Thinks about when it should turn on, even though it's set for a specific temperature. Oh yeah, this is the college game. Two -point compass. 
It's absolutely the last thing I want to do, go back to college. Oh, it hurt me talking about it and it kicked in. Thank you, AC. When we were thinking about what we were going to do next, campus triple, and the idea triple of half doodle a foot. university or mm -hmm. a college was something we just kept coming the, back uh, to. It's a really the, the community rich naming. Topic. My so holiday people name. haven't <laughs> probably heard of Two Point Studios. The good games aren't on E3. The good stuff. games were freaking in the um, hospitals. If you've seen our previous game, the other Isn't game show, Elf. the only good game was Elden Ring. <laughs> they've shown so far. Hospital, but no, the Wholesome Direct was amazing. I really liked the Wholesome Direct. I have a checklist of about thirty games. From, from the wholesome direct and taking it to the next this level. is very much the up my alley thing was for us to give hey Burtwood, you you uh, had similarly poor college experiences <laughs> i had fun in college it was just kind of a waste of money the, uh, in my case brush, for example, which i majored in underwater drag, basket weaving uh, unfortunately pathways if you, um uh, drag a, a but fence, you i enjoyed really college it was better than high school but i would not go back if i had a choice drag out of courtyards um, lay down some paths at different angles. Yeah, if your and job pays fun, for it, right? It's, There's it's, no, it's no sense paying for more. City builder element to, to Two Point Universe. The difference between Two Point Hospital and campus is that we spend. You missed the wholesome direct Honda. You should go watch it. I think you'd find a lot of games that you'd like. Or actually, if you go on Steam, you care about your university. there's a whole um, the, the idea of like these curator list of the, the games that were on it. Are try and, um, and you just click through and so see them. There's a night that way. school. Horrible pun, but night school. You have you an itchy head. You should do. You're going to train you night school. Uh, so you guys can't see Charlie, so it just looks like I'm talking to my microphone like it's a good girl. It's going to be really cool, interesting stuff. <laughs> it's really weird. She like camos with the, with the microphone. She's here. She's that here. was Two Point They're Campus, which is coming soon to PC and all current console platforms. Our next game is in early development, but it already has a very cool code name, which is always a good sign. Here's Leo to tell you all about Project Ferocious. Project Ferocious. Hello. My name is Leo. Why does this man have like I'm sexy hair? Project Project His hair is too sexy for this for this convention. <laughs> Some of you might know me from Twitter as Omniok, where I post about the game and development and, and tech and stuff. And if not, I've been doing... Wait, mouse look tactics looked, it looked cool. And I've been working on this project for... Deploy Hospital had some very this unfortunate design design decisions. design decisions. What was wrong with it? And even though I know it's still a very long way... His, to his hair is, is, is on point. I'm jealous of his hair, actually. I wish my hair looked like his hair right now. <laughs> Metal Slug games are hard, Skelly. They were difficult. So I wouldn't feel bad about being bad at them. They're very challenging games. Fierce! Look at this bean! Thank you, Draconic! Yeah, so that link should have uh, should have all the games on it, and there are tons of really good indies coming out. Yeah, that's true. Quarter eaters. But even when you even the console ports. Um, it sucks when you're in you're interrupting people's immersion in this very ferocious game. Excuse me. <laughs> oh look, it's a war pew pew, but with dinosaurs and dragonflies. He's about to sell you <laughs> this game. We're gonna tell you to eat, tell you to eat thirty bananas a day. <laughs> the vegan pyramid scheme. This is not the dinosaur action RPG that I was looking for, but this is where we're, we are now. This kind of reminds me of the forest, but like with guns. And sharks. I guess there were sharks in the forest. Targeting 2023. You know that game ain't getting released until like 2025. Is targeting a That's it, man. It's game it's over, so man. Loud. It's game over. And I hope you guys are awake. This what this, I had asks, to turn up everything else. What if Doom Guy had a drunk one night stand with Super Meat Boy? Hmm. I guess this next game wants to answer that question for some reason. There's a room rating system that rewards the player for spending every room full of objects. Oh, that's stupid. So you're just freaking doing nonsense to get points. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Does it have ray tracing? This isn't the PC game and show Tonda. <laughs> they, they don't care. <laughs> this looks nothing like Meat Boy. Doom I can see. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. 
Warcry. Th really though, the most generic games like names for these games. <laughs> That's a problem. Like Watch with making a game. Challenges when it stops to find gravity. Not only do you have to make a good game and market it well, you have to make a name that people will remember. PC this summer. That isn't so generic that Up it just next, blends we've in. Got another world premiere. Conway, disappearance. You remember the video? Oh, sounds good. Story-driven detective thriller set in 1950s. Story-driven detective thriller. Okay. Thanks, Sunsundry. How are you doing? They aren't out, and you're Love already disappointed. Twenty second of June. I like when they show games that aren't out because it gives me something to look forward to. I've solved many. And I have too many games to play already. Private investigator. <laughs> well, this looks but cool. Nothing. So I'm gonna shut up. Close to home. As the abduction of Charlotte May. There are some things that take hold of a person and refuse to let go. For me, it's the idea of saving that little girl. My own daughter, Catherine, is on the case. She has the same look in her eye that I used to have. There'll be no stopping her. I wish I could say that all of my neighbors are innocent. Oh god, there's so much hair. I wish I could say oh my god. I have the faintest clue where to begin. There's a lot I wish I could say. This is a really cool art style too. Sometimes it takes a nightmare to wake a place like Daily View. I like that kind of cell shaded 3D look to it. It's got another very generic name though. Conway. Conway. I am hey, Shinobi. In. How that you doing? was Conway. Disappearance Why at Dolly do you dislike so many designers or hosts and how they talk about games? The you know, it's terrible, right? It on PC and then they and keep going. They keep going. 2021. Like, they try and to hype up a game, but they're totally the wrong personality for show. it. So it's just whoa, this whoa, deadpan whoa, whoa, person on. talking about sure a game, trying to sell it for 20 minutes. Over and over again. Nope, sorry, Troy, that's it. Yeah, maybe the room like elements, or maybe the meat. Maybe the giblets. All right, let's see it. Uh oh, have you made a copy pasta? Have you made a copy pasta Hawksman? Have you made have you made a copy pasta for ruining everyone's ears? She is so comfy. Oh Harold Halibits Honda. I've been following that one for a while. That that one looks really good. I don't know if you know much about the development of it, but it's been in development for 10 years. So I'm really hoping it's good. It's been in development for 10 years and it's all hand-done claymation that was put into a 3D modeling software to animate. So, hoping it's good because it's their 10-year their project. Cacophony of horns to build tension. My name is Marissa Marcel. I'm 17 years old, and it's my dream to be an actress. I don't know anything about that and game. And that really is all we have time for. That's it. Be sure to head to gamesradar.com for it. more coverage and updates on all the games you've seen today. Play with boob for health. That's oh, a sorry. good quote. Sorry, really excited about that Sam Barlow reveal. Uh, yes, and thanks to our headline partners, Debbie D. Black. Is there something course, like Cat Lady that's the complete, the complete opposite of wholesome games? Depressing games? That have made all disturbing this games? Possible. And of course, the disturbing games channel. <laughs> Well, we hope you've enjoyed today's lineup and mark your diary. Thank you, Troy Baker. The Future Game Show will be returning in August. I'm Laura Bailey. And I'm Troy Baker. And, and this has, has been, been the Future, Future Game, Game Show 2021. So, standouts from that panel. Uh, happy game. Uh, star. Mancer. <laughs> I wrote it in the pen that was dying, so I have just like the outline of the word. Starmancer. Um, and that was it. That was all I cared about. What games caught your eye this E3? Elden Ring, which wasn't even E3. <laughs> no, um, Sunsundere, the Wholesome Games Direct. I have a check. I actually have a checklist. I can bring it up on the screen. Because this is all that there is for E3 tonight, right? This is the last of it. 
I have not played the Cat Lady. I do own it. I, I like played a little bit of it and stopped for some reason. Please try show Booba. Try try Baker Booba. He's, he's, I'm sure he has a beautiful Booba. Um. Yeah. This is it for tonight though, right? For the E3 stuff? Because I can close this out and we can swap over to video game and... Yeah. 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 I don't know if- it, I don't know what game to play tonight because I have a couple of demos from games that were shown during E3. And I have one down that still needs to be beaten. There was a CRPG Sun Sundere. It was actually really bad looking. It was, um... Oh boy, I think that was like that a generic medieval CRPG. Of games. Welcome back everyone to E3. The Gold dinosaur here, games make you play Jackie, as the humans and not the dinosaurs. There is a game where you can, you can play as the dinosaurs. There, I mean, there was just so many games, Shut up. Jackie. We'll, we'll just jump right um, there is a game that you can play as the dinosaurs called so many great The Isle, Honestly, I, I think, like, that did not do very well. <laughs> it's on Steam. I think it's called The Isle, like the island, but um, you can play as the dinosaurs. For some reason, most games you can play as the dinosaurs don't work out very well. Also, um, there's like a there's a game where you can play as dinosaurs that have guns strapped to them. It's like war, war dinos, and I can't remember the name of it, but I have it. It was like a dollar. I love when they talk about all the stuff that we just saw. Again. You like the Cat Lady 2 x Men's again? No, I've heard lots of good things about it, but you gotta kind of be in the right mindset to play it, I think. So much effort has gone into this. You don't uh, think you saw anything so that you got excited so for Gohammer? I I'm down for I like it. it. This is definitely my favorite. From I don't know if it's healthy, yeah, but some of those games seem awesome really seem to appeal to you at the time. No, I think that's fine. I think everyone has those like self-indulgent, depressive moods that you just want something to make you feel worse. It's kind of like a catharsis. <laughs> get it, get it out of your system. Uh, yeah, it has a a certain, def time. definitely certain movies and media uh, that I will pretty, uh, turn to when depressed that are that depressing now, uh, and, and don't want to do anything I with them really any other time. Was, uh, Death Run TV. Yeah. Uh, I thought this game this trailers awesome. are useless, so uh, only a few were. It's a sort. Keep an eye out it just has this for news or streams. I can show you guys what I what I was looking at from the um wholesome direct. Let me pull up the Notepad wholesome. Um. So I, those of you who've been around the stream for a minute know that I'm, probably know that I don't really care too much about most AAA games, and I'm more into like the indie, kind of unique type stuff. Um, so the Wholesome Direct was pretty much what I was looking forward to the most, but um, if you go to the page, Wholesome Direct, that Draconic linked earlier, it should have them on there. Yes, it's got all the games listed, but they're not in alphabetical order, which is problematic. <laughs> it's a little bit problematic, because they're all, like, out of order. <laughs> oh yeah, there the, was an open world CRPG. I remember thinking that combo was weird. You saw us in the Wholesome Game thing, you got excited over oh, for Soup Pot? So there was Soup Pot, and there was another game. I feel bad for Soup Pot, because there was another game that's, uh was similar, like food, cooking, all sorts of different recipes, and in the, even the similar art style to it, so they probably got uh, confused with each other. Sometimes you need a good cry, exactly. Men, dudes can cry. It's okay. Because when dudes don't cry, they get all sorts, like, they got all sorts of mental problems from not letting out negative emotions, so cry if you need to. You should be encouraged to vent. Another Pathfinder game. Was that shown at the, during all this stuff? Pot for one. Yes, that's what it was. I remember thinking because the name was kind of, it kind of made it sound sad. <laughs> it's like a breakup, breakup hot pot. <laughs> There's a plot behind it. And then you die of a heart attack yeah, from all your repressed, uh, repressed anger and sadness. So paparazzi, paparazzi, I got my eye on paparazzi here. Looks like a quality game. It's, it's Pokemon Snap, but with with dogs. This just looks like a happy game. Like. I, 
just you just go around and you take pictures of cute dogs doing dog stuff. Look at them. Look at all these good boys. And you got noodle arms. Charlie Ratsy, that's every day of my life. You know how many pictures I have of Charlie on my phone? The sole purpose of buying my smartphone was to take pictures of Charlie. Um, so that's soup pot up there. This is what Tonda was talking about. Soup pot. So this didn't take me to the Steam page, which is weird. Is this it? Or is this the other one? Hot pot. Yeah, they, they were confused because this is soup pot and then it was hot pot for one. Was the other one. That's why they were confusing. They were like basically the same name. <laughs> so that's not the one he was talking about. Oh god, and they move them around when you click. They move them at random. That's not good. If you're trying to go through all of them. There was Monster Hunter World 2? What? No. Capcom hasn't even had their panel yet. Okay, this this game... This looks like the type of game that would make me cry hysterically. This, uh walk with Yaya. It's about your grandma having a, a fall and you have to you walk with her as she like regains confidence in walking. It it's it seems very wholesome and also incredibly sad at the same time. This this is very up my alley. Walk with Yaya. Um that was a very interesting concept for a game. I like games that have stuff that has not been done before and I can guarantee that game has not been done before. <laughs> that plot to a game. I don't like how these are randomizing. I guess I can open them in new tabs, right? This is just your life taking pictures of animals. As soon as you get a cat t-shirt, it's like, look at all these dumb things my cat's doing. I need to document them. Cute dog stuff like skateboard and... I mean, there are dogs that skateboard on Yamusha. Just, just go on YouTube. You'll see. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just cooking, minus the mama. Oh, cat comes tomorrow. What time is it? Tomorrow. Get your free tea guide. No, I want to look at the game on Steam. This looked cute. Teacup. It's about a frog lady. It's a sh- this is the- the- It's a wholesome narrative adventure with a focus on exploration and non-linear progression. Help a small sh and shy frog. Oh, she says it. With a focus on exploration well. and non-linear <laughs> You play as Teacup. Shy and introverted young frog. He gets a place on drinking tea and reading. 5 30. Hmm. The day before she is to host a tea party at her house, she realizes she's completely out of tea and thus must venture into the woods around her to find the herbs she needs to restock her pantry. It's another furry game, but it's cute. Unlike other adventure games, gameplay in Teacup is not about gathering items to solve obtuse puzzles. To advance, then what the is it? Must interact with the world and talk with its characters. We have to talk. During her expedition, Teacup will also encounter a variety of charming mini games. Look, it's the the, te <laughs> the Tetris inventory arrangement mini game. <laughs> Ultimately, <laughs> this looks aims very to wholesome. Tell a story about the nice things that can happen. And the yeah, the art style is cool. It reminds me of um. Venture out of your comfort zone. The is that pointillism where you get like all the little dots to make an image? I remember learning about that in art class in like grade school. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Um, yeah. So yeah, okay. So that's the way. That's the ticket. We don't. We open in the new tabs. Um, season spring also looks very cute. I have to unmute it every time. So this, you control the flow of time by walking. Um, I'm not quite sure how it works, but I'm, I'm intrigued by the concept. There's also a macaroni penguin, so it's obviously game of the year. And it's very cute. The wholesome direct was just like a big, just a big ball of serotonin, just slapped in your face. It was a very good panel. Tetanus, <laughs> tetanus. <laughs> oh, unpacking looks cool too. You have to use the Tetris rolling technique to fit the giants. <laughs> Speaking of inventory management, there was um one of the Dreadx devs that I follow on Twitter. He did this thing with like inventory management, the whole like RE4 or um, kind of grid style inventory management, but he did it so that 
it flips and you actually have to manage it like in 3D space too instead of like I gotta find a link to it. It's crazy looking. People are like flipping their shit. People love inventory management. Um, this looked. Th where is unpacking? Looked cute. There were there were a couple that like really stood out that I'm looking for here. Um, bird problems looked like a good game about social anxiety. That I think that was the bulk of that game. Um, okay, this this looks intriguing tracks of thought so this is a self-exploration rpg rpg shaped by your own personality confront your fellow passengers in card-based conversations to discover more about yourself so this could be either extremely cringy <laughs> or fun um it, it the art style looks really cute but there's a demo for it i was thinking of trying I really, I really like the art style for this. A lot of indie games have so many, so many cool art styles to them. And there's cute bugs. You get to play as like, look at the ladybug with her little freaking like poncho thing. You're afraid of games that analyze your personality. Have you not played um, Silent Hill: Shattered Memories, Tonda? It's the best personality game. It's a silent. <laughs> Silent Hill Shattered Memories is like a remake of Silent Hill 1 that psychologically profiles you and changes the enemies to suit your whatever your answers are. I never beat it, but I thought conceptually it was very interesting, but the gameplay is agonizing. You guys seem to randomize on page to load. Oh yeah, that makes sense to give them equal exposure. Who needs toxicity? So I wonder, like, with this this personality analysis stuff, if it's, like, just... I hope it's not based on, like, Myers-Briggs or something. Because Myers-Briggs is bullshit. Bullshit. A lot of bullshit. This looks cool. Um, Shashingo? So this is a game where you take pictures of things and it helps you learn Japanese. And I thought that was a really cool concept as someone who's more visual oriented and has trouble Mini. with language stuff. Shizuraiki. So you take a picture of something and then your brain associates it with the thing as it's saying it. It's also more interactive. And you can take cute pictures, like Instagram pictures of random shit in the game. And then I'll tell you in Japanese. I'm sure you have a personality, Spooky. I'm sure everyone's got a personality. Posto. 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 It's, it's, it's interesting to me how many loan words there are in Japanese that are just English. So it's slightly different. It looks like it was announced towards the end of May. And it looks like a competent- oh, so it's a port. There's another cooking game narrative- oh, Venba! Yeah, that sounds familiar. Venba. Um... Venba. I see it pop up here. Uh, Yokai Inn looks super cute. I don't like how these all link to different things. Like, this is linking to Twitter instead of the Steam page. They should all link directly to the Steam page if it's available. I don't know why they did it this way. Um, but Yokai Inn looks super cute. What else we got here? Garden Story, which is basically Turnip Boy, but you're you're a blueberry or a grape instead of a, instead of a turnip. It looks like. You had been wondering how to say outdoor air conditioning unit. You never know when you're going to be stuck in Japan t-shirt and you need to you need an outdoor air conditioning unit right away. <laughs> you need it now. Um Kodama Diary. Oh, but Bear and Brit. Okay, this game I'm, I'm I don't know why I'm so excited about this game in particular. <laughs> but this is another one of those games that looks very cutesy, but has it seems like it has a dark dark turn to it. 
We're a few minutes away from our destination. I'm excited about Baron Breakfast. The company would like to welcome you to a remarkable wilderness adventure. You are invited to enjoy our luxurious guest room, savor the local cuisine, and relax in our upscale facilities. You're a bear. Be advised <laughs> that in the bear. forest you may encounter dangerous wild animals. <laughs> Park rangers would also like to remind you of the following. Do not litter, do not feed the animals, and under any circumstances, do not disturb the wildlife. Damn Thank you for choosing Palm Voyage. No refunds. It's going to be very solid. Yeah, Yokai looks neat. There, there's a lot of the, the games from the Wholesome uh, Showcase that it's just hard to go through them all because there's so many, but there's that like game again. Um, there's so many that looked good. Steam or Itch would be best. Yeah, I think Steam because it has the trailer uh, built right in is the best for most of them. Some of them don't have Steam pages yet. Um, is this all of them? There, there's a few different Cat Cafe ones. Or similar to Cat Cafe. Like, I think this Pico one was a Cat Cafe game. There was a... Uh, where is it? Snacko. He plays a, a black cat. <laughs> like, this is a... Oh, this is a farming one. He plays a black cat. Um, oh, no. I reset everything. Uh, Lottle, Lottle Nut was one that they really hyped. This was, like, the last reveal. Because I think it's on, because it was on that Kickstarter at the time. They wanted to really push this one, but it, it looks super cute. Influent? No, I haven't heard of it. Sparkly, it's a, a language game? Is it different languages, or? There's a few different Japanese-specific uh, learning games. Look at how cute this game is. I like that there's a lot of games that are uh, doing the low poly thing. In the past past few years, I feel like there's been a resurgence of uh, not only low poly, but low, low poly games that look good. They have a good art style to them. Because you can have a low poly game and it looks like absolute ass, and you can have a low poly game like this that uh, is actually cutesy. And Cohesive, the art design to it, Lottle, basically Lottle Nautica. It looks so cute. I don't know, maybe it is scary. It, it could be spooky. It could have uh, spooky elements to it. I feel like for most underwater games, they have a spooky, spooky turn to them. Underwater in and of itself is pretty spooky. It's a language learning game focused on vocabulary acquisition and pronunciation that gives players the freedom to choose the words they want to learn without the need for pencils or books. Interesting. Yeah, I've never heard of it, Sparkly. But I feel like I just don't have the attention span for a lot of, a lot of that stuff to learn uh, languages. Oh, here it is. Hot Pot for One. Was this the one you were talking about, Tonda, or was it the Soup Pot one? Because this is, this is a Hot Pot for One. And then there was Soup Pot, and they were in the same show, fairly close to each other, so it was a little confusing. This one looked better to me than uh, Soup Pot, but... Like look at look at all this delicious food. Venba, yes. I didn't I didn't see that when I was scrolling. This game this is the type of game that would just make me very hungry though, playing it. It's kind of cool if like by playing the game. Ooh, Hagen does green tea. Heck yeah. Um by playing the game you learn how to actually cook this stuff. That would be cool. I'm not sure if it works that way. Or is this just just video game? Look at the puts actual recipes in it. So is that how you make soy milk? <laughs> Why is there Shrek? Lo-fi beats and, and hot pop. Are you trying to scup it? She's trying to she's trying to scup it back there. This looks very chill. I see some shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp approved. That game looks cool. 
Apparently it's already out and it's $3. Hi, Rachel. How are you doing? Um, that's very cheap. Venba. <laughs> it's, like, it's tough to, to find uh, stuff on here. It's like, like visual overload. I'm looking at every single one. Was that up the whole something? Oh, here it is. Venba. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember this one. I remember this one. This is an Indian one. Indian food. It's got this cute art style to it. Yeah. Got the jams. Indian food is so good. My stomach does not like Indian food, but it's very good. <laughs> So, so so many of it, so much of it is so spicy. This looks cool. It kind of reminds me of um, I have a I have an art book of like Pixar artists, and it kind of reminds me of some of the art that they've done of two uh, D art. You don't know what the game is like, but you're looking at the Marissa Marcel fake movie posters from Immortality, and they are nice. Oh, that was that, um... That was a, that teaser that they showed at the last show, right? Garden Story. Wudo also looks cool. I have no idea what's going on in here. But the art looks really cool. It's a puzzle game. Um, Link me to your Steam page. Take me to your Steam page. It's not there. Okay. Ooblets? I, I love Ooblets. I don't know why. I love I love Ooblets so much. I bought this early access. <laughs> it's very wholesome. Very wholesome game. This is a really old trailer for Ooblets. This is a very old trailer for Ooblets. Why is this on the main one on their website? There we go. It's kind of like Pokemon, but if the Pokemon did like dance battles and were adorable and followed you all around. And you could dress up your character. I guess you can dress up your character in Pokemon. And there's a lot of farming too. This is for the latest update. I guess they added some mini games. I haven't played the new update yet. Yo, maybe I should just play Ooblets. You can dress them up in Gen 6. Yeah, it's great that there's so many different, uh, different cultures that they are including in the... That they are making uh, food games for, for sure, Tonda. I feel like, uh... There's a lack of representation in the gaming industry for a lot of different cultures. And uh, it's always nice to see something other than generic white bread video game over and over and over again. <laughs> Fishy on me, slap money. Fishy on me. Fishy on me. I could play Ooblets right now. I don't think I have my thing downloaded, but um what else was good? Anyone have anything they they uh really stood out to them? You wanna pop a trailer on? Do we coward? <laughs> But then I gotta log into EPIC! I could do that or I have the demo for Tracks of Thought if you want to see me psychoanalyze myself, which I'm sure is very exciting. Extremely exciting. Um, I don't- I, I'm kind of intrigued by this game. Not quite sure how it plays out. Excuse me. But if I try to update Ooblets right now, I'm pretty sure it's going to crash the stream. Let's see. How you guys like the new Windows weather bar, by the way, in the taskbar? Isn't it great? Immediately disabled it. <laughs> the first thing I notice as a streamer is if you mouse over the new Windows weather thing, it gives your location. It pops up. So if you're in desktop mode and you're streaming, uh, someone could see where you live if you mouse over it by accident. Very good. Thank you, Windows. Features, uh, very, very, uh, sought after features. Chaos Bane and Dark Tide. Was Chaos Bane the Final Fantasy one that everyone's memeing on? It sounds familiar. You disabled it as well. Does I don't know who uses it. Everyone's like, I removed that immediately. Right? It's Ox's you. It's spooky. 
It's one thing if it's just there and it gives you the weather and doesn't say this is where you live, but it does. Ooblets. Did it update my ooblets already? Oh no. Oh no. Ooblets is okay. Guess we're guess we're ubin. <laughs> guess we ubin. I'm not in the right category. <laughs> oh shit. One moment, so I gotta get my shit set up. We ubin. We ubin. This game is so chill. I haven't played in forever though, so my farm is gonna be an overgrown nightmare monstrosity. Oh, ooblets, pour it forward. Catching up. Okay. Hopefully that took. Blitz. Oh, I never tweeted that I was live. Whoops. Whoops! That's all my Twitter is, is just like, I'm going live, and then pictures of Charlie. <laughs> Windows will dox you too! Good job, Bill Gates. Thanks, Bill Gates. God. You're constantly informed about the weather. It's interesting to you, personally, since you don't go outside. Well, I don't blame you for not going outside living in California. Like, living in a <laughs> hellscape. <laughs> that map! You were showing the map of the, the the fire map right for California on stream. Scary. It's like red. The entire map is red. We need more games to say. Oh, yeah, my real name. If you guys don't know my real name by now, after all the doxing, I would be be shocked. Stupid games. Oh, it's been out for a while now. Never mind. I think I know the wrong game. Yeah, it's for Windows 10, as far as I know, Sparkly. I think you should be safe. Okay, how do I capture Ooblets? Not in the game, but like on my screen. Ooblets. Oh, guys, I signed up for the Rocksmith Plus beta. Have you guys, did you guys see the Ubisoft panel? Did you see Rocksmith Plus, their new subscription-based Rocksmith that everyone's super mad about? Ah, <laughs> uh, the Rocksmith community is not happy with Rocksmith Plus. Not happy. Alright, Ooblets, why are we not popping up? Fucking, I fucking love Ooblets. Um... Ooblets! So what I am going to- hmm. I disabled- so I disabled VODs for the E3 stuff because I didn't want to get dim could. I don't think anyone will care if they miss an Ooblets VOD. So I'm just gonna leave it. I was gonna restart the stream and enable VODs, but I don't think that many people watch the VODs anyway. Who watches VODs? I can't, like, I can probably count on, like, one hand the amount of times that I've watched people's VODs on Twitch. <laughs> Not really a fan of the VODs. Yeah, Rocksmith Plus, so it's a subscription-based Rocksmith. It's a separate client from the main game. It's like a new, new client, new engine. Um, I cannot click on the screen. It all taps the game. And it is basically you have the base game, which I'm assuming will be free. And then you can pay $15 a month for access to millions of songs, they said. Uh, I don't know how true that is. Um, or 99 bucks a year. So people aren't happy about the whole subscription-based thing, but I feel like that was kind of how it had to go with all the DMCA stuff and music rates. Unfortunately, I kind of have to pee. I'm gonna leave you guys with the Ooblets music for a minute. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Every time I click outside of the game, it stops it. Oh no. Yeah, everyone's scared of Dimkas. That, that's what I was wondering though, teacher. If you disable VODs, if it... Like, if you disable VODs from being made, if it protects you against Dimka? Or if they still record them somewhere? I'm assuming they do in case someone gets reported so they have evidence. But, I don't know. The whole Dimka situation is so frustrating. <laughs> Like, especially with this Rocksmith Plus stuff, so they have this whole catalog that they licensed. And... You know the custom tabs that people, like, create on uh, Customs Forge? Uh, the user... Users create tabs for so uh, charts in Rocksmith for songs that aren't in the game officially. And... Ubisoft's answer to that... For Rocksmith Plus was to have a community workshop. But the community workshop only lets you submit tabs for songs that they licensed. So I have no idea how that's gonna work. Apparently they have an AI generating charts for songs. <laughs> so some of them are probably gonna be extremely scuffed and then they're gonna have people who actually play the game correct them for them. It probably is cheaper in the long run, but it, it definitely seems like they're pushing it as more of a teaching tool. And the streamers were pretty mad about that because they don't want to stream a teaching tool. They want to stream metal shredding. I guess that's that's not fair to claim for all of them. I know I know a few Rocksmith streamers who do like or, or are uh, anticipating good stuff from the new Rocksmith, but uh, others like the Re the Rocksmith Reddit is seething at the moment. <laughs> It would be nice for Twitch to let us know if unlisted VODs or deleted VODs could still be dim cut. Yeah, that's the, the, the sad thing, T-shirt. Um, because I, I'm sure you remember back the whole scare when they were telling people to delete all their clips because uh, they weren't sure what would get dim cut and then people deleted them and they still got dim good. It's like, wh why did you bother deleting all that if the stuff is still recorded somewhere? They're just not transparent with how it works. That's, that's the frustrating part. Probably won't work. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You're signing up for the beta tunnel. Let me know if you get in. I didn't didn't hear anything yet, but I think they're uh, releasing the keys to the plebs tomorrow. I think is when it starts for the rest of us. The, the streamers got access uh, yesterday. All right, if your game looks all goofed up after updating, verify your game files through Epic. Okay, stuff. A lot of stuff. Spoilers. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. Um. I haven't played this game in a long time, so I do not remember how to play. This should be very good. I almost want to start a new game, because that's how long it's been. But we, we, we load in 87 days ago. <laughs> ah! I have, I have some money, some in-game money. I haven't played for 51 real-life days, that's the in-game days. Please do not judge me about my playtime. Error! Pro project couldn't load scene. Uh oh, we got we get error pop-ups. Oh look, look how spooky. Look how spooky we look. Alright, so I have no idea what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> so So basically in Ooblets, you uh, acquire all these little ooblets through dance battles. You win them through dance battles, and then you hatch them on the farm. And then you use them as labor, you exploit them. Uh, to farm for you, so you can capture more ooblets to continue to farm for you. So this is just basically uh, all about ooblet, ooblet labor. You can go in their little houses and say hi. I genuinely don't remember what I was doing. <laughs> it's not good. How do I pick? How do I how do I pick the plants? Enter farming mode. There we go. Oh, there we go. Therapeutic, sweetie beauty plucking. But yeah, Rocksmith. So I'm excited about Rocksmith Plus because I'm someone who's never. Oh shit, I gotta, I gotta, wait, hold on. I got an ooblet to hatch, you can see. Nice, nice camera angle. <laughs> so there's regular ooblets and then there's like shiny ooblets. There's like three three tiers of ooblets. There's the basic bitch ooblet, then the slightly less common ooblet, and then the the super rare ooblet. 
I think this is kind of like middle of the road. Ooblet, this is Radlad. Radlads as a species seem to have misinterpreted the root of their namesakes and as such tend to have it too cool for school. Rad demeanor. Radlad is a very good boy. I know it. It's Radlad. We know him. Everyone knows Radlad. Um... What was I saying? Rocksmith, sorry. <laughs> as someone who is not very self-motivated when learning an instrument, it is nice to have something that gamifies it, like Rocksmith. And the fact that they're turning it into more of a teaching tool than it was before, I think is a good thing. Uh, Tilling this land will remove the growing crop here. Are you sure you want to do this? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was dead. Um, grabbing them sweetie beaties. I don't know what I'm doing with them, but I'm grabbing them. It's already almost nighttime. You do have to sleep in this game. So the top right is... It is a little bit stressful because you have, like, energy and, like, on the top right, I think it's energy and... I don't think it's health. Basically, you drink coffee to replenish your energy. <laughs> There's different uh, energy things, like sweets and coffee. Like, I'm, you can see here, this is full of coffee. This is, gra this is all coffee here that I've made this poor ooblet crunch together for my consumption. Ooblets of all nations unite! We got ooblets over here, we got ooblets over there, we got way too- way too many ooblets. Is there a quicker way to pick these? <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think there is. I'm gonna have to go to bed soon. Or my sleep schedule's gonna be all fucked up. It's just like real life if you go to bed too late. Because I think you sleep for a set number of hours, so if you go to bed too late, it messes up your whole next day. It's good. Too, too realistic. It may set a precedent for future rhythm games that would worry you a bit. Um, the subscri subscription mon model Tonda, or the style of, of like, kind of teaching. Because the subscription model apparently gets hard here, tried already, and it did not work out very well. Um, but they also did not do it in the same way. It's tough with the with the music, that's the problem with the music licensing. It's tough because I don't think they turn much of a profit on it. Pet the- pet the freaking rad lad, yes. Pet him, give him love. I kind of don't want to be Halloween-y anymore. How do I- how do I un-Halloween myself? Where's my stuff? How do I- how do I dress myself? <laughs> how do I dress myself? Here we go. Alright, clothing. What should we- what should we wear? Should we wear the rainbow for Pride Month? Rainbow dress and cardigan? Very cute. Very fashionable. You keep thinking they're called oubliettes? What in God's name is an oubliette, Risu? I'm, I'm a little spooked. So what would be, like... It's tough because the alternative to the subscription model is the model they had already, but the DLC was, it's so expensive. Like if you add all the Rocksmith DLC to your cart, um, it's thousands of dollars. So, I feel like it's tough to say what the better model is until they do this. Why do I have two hats on? I have I have this hat, the itchy bear hat, under the ghost hat. How do I take the ghost hat off? Help! It's possessing me. Sweet baby ghost mask. There we go. Oh, I'm not, uh, I don't know about this hat. I don't know if I'm so much a fan of this itchy bear hat. That looks cute. Young churls. I don't know about that hairstyle. Got a rainbow top hat. Oh yeah, witch hat. There we go. What you having, Skelly? You didn't miss anything. I'm just trying to remember how to play this game and I have no idea what's going on. I don't know why I'm holding a pumpkin. I'm, try I'm trying to dress myself because I had like all Halloween stuff on. And we now we have our pride, uh, pride dress on. This is cute too. This is also cute. This is like my wardrobe in a video game. This is like my actual wardrobe. I'm pretty sure I have this exact sweater. <laughs> This is how I dress. You wear a fanny pack. It's called a bum bag. Put some glasses on. Styling. Okay, we look good. I think we look good. Basic backpack. Oh, they have it all. I don't think it was like this before. Separated by... This is new. They separated the clothes out. All those rhythm games have DLCs and you get crazy FOMO? Well, that's the good thing about the subscription mode, um, uh, subscription, subscription model then, Tonda. You can't have FOMO if all the songs are available when you pay for it, right? 
then if you only want to play for a few months, you only have to pay for the months that you want to play. I think it's fine. Like, it, it's it's shitty, but it's I feel like it's just so much the way the music industry is set up right now that's putting different uh, game developers and Twitch and stuff in a vice. What happened? Everything exploded. I'm gonna save my game. Oh, I can't. I have to save and quit. Um, right, we're gonna take a little sleep. I think it's a hunger meter and a fatigue meter or something. I think I do have to eat. Dirt scraper. Oh, that's okay. I have no- where's the lights in this damn place? <laughs> it's wicked dark in here. Wicked dark. I can't see. I got cool- cool, uh, wallpaper. Um... Q? Nope. Yeah, I can't see any way to turn the lights on. So I'm gonna just go to bed. This is what happens when you don't play a game in three months. <laughs> you don't remember anything. It's a medieval torture dungeon. Yeah, that not not that oblit. Look at all the stuff we got. Sweet. What a, what a day. What a day we had. Look, friendship points. I, I must have talked to those people last time. <laughs> Means something like forgotten or to forget. It's a prison that's underground. The only entrance is through the top, and they drop the people in, and there's not really any way back. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of what we do with the ooblets, right? We put them in the farm, and they're trapped forever. Look at these oobs! Look at all these oobs! I did good. Spotted so many oobs. So this is what my house looked like, apparently. I don't remember what the meters mean. <laughs> okay, so the bottom meter is the sprint meter. Now I remember. On the top right. The blue meter is sprint and the purple meter is like energy for the day and you expend energy when you do the farm chores. Today is hanker analysis has been completed. Okay, so if you give the people, it's like a, a quest every day, like a daily I guess, <laughs> and if you complete it, you get extra, extra monies. Currency is, is gummies. I'm not doing any of the quests, I'm just trying to remember how to play. I'm trying to tend to my stuff. Show oobs. <laughs> Thank you, Panda! <laughs> Gotta pick them Pompa Dudes. This is it's such a chill game. So chill. Weed. <laughs> the noises she makes when she weeds, like, Arr. like the sloth noises. Arr. What? Does this red lad not have a job? Look at him. Look at him just walking around like he owns the damn place. Gotta put him to work. Alright, where can we put red lad? He's just- he's, he's freewheeling around. He needs a home. So you can upgrade the barns. The different colors indicate how many- Alright, apparently I got money for doing something. Um, the different colors indicate how many ooblets you can fit. And puts a work in the, the basically the grid. Charlie, stop trying to break out. There's a grid. <laughs> there's a grid around them where they work, and they automatically like tilt the soil and pick stuff and water stuff, so you don't have to do it. Um, and I think the yellow ones you can put three, three ooblets per, or four. No, four. The yellow ones are four, and the red are three, and the blue are two. So I'm trying to find a spot to put this guy, but. None of these have- uh, maybe this one. Red lad, I choose you. Nope. I'm gonna upgrade this. Yeah. And I'm gonna put... more red lad. So you have the, the follow babies, or the ooblets that follow you around and are in your party. And the home babies are the ones just chilling on the farm. Where's my red lad? I don't- okay. You get a job. And they put little, they put little farmer hats on them. Hi, hobo, how are you doing? How's it going? Welcome to Ooblets. Hi, Daggy. How you doing, too? How's it going, guys? Either of you guys watch E3? Anyone have any thoughts on E3 so far? Anyone just coming in? Outside of Elden Ring, which is the only, it's a very, very little memorable. Outside of Elden Ring, and that wasn't even E3. Still can highly recommend the Wholesome Direct. And not just because they showed Ooblets on it, but... 
There's some cute stuff in there. Remember to to weed and uh, break rocks in your garden on the daily so it doesn't shit doesn't get out of control. If you let the weeds grow too much, they start str like this. They start strangling your plants. It's not great. My sister-in-law used to live with us, and she would work in the room directly behind mine. And when I first started playing this game, I didn't have my headphones on. I didn't realize how loud it was with the speakers. And she actually she texted me. And she's like, "Hey, could you turn?" Turn down whatever is making that do 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 like she just typed out in her phone like a do 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 noise. Can you turn that down? <laughs> Whatever's making that do 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 noise. It's too loud. <laughs> That's all she heard. It was just this music, this ooblitz music. Wizards with guns! Yeah, wizards with guns look cool. I agree, Diggy. Looks like it would be fun. It was co-op, right? Looks pretty cool. What can we buy today? Yeah, talk to, to Mead. So, the more you talk with the villagers, the more friendship points you gain, as indicated by the meter directly above my head, and when you fill the meter, you get stickers! And you put them in a book! So, obviously talk to people because you get rewards, other than just the, the joy of interacting with people, you get stickers. You can't remember the last time you watched E3 Hobo. Honestly, you're not missing anything. <laughs> You're not missing much of anything. Did you see the Elden Ring trailer, though? That's, like, the only thing that's come out of any of the game stuff so far that I can think of off the top of my head. There's a simple wonder in farming and gardening instead of chipping away at the planet. You're chipping in. Good talk. Good talk, Mead. Thank you. What can we buy from you today? What does my inventory even look like? I got so much stuff. Stuff. This is a disorganized nightmare. This one. Now I'm remembering why it was so hard to get back into this game, and it's because my inventory is a fucking nightmare and I don't remember what anything does! <laughs> like all this stuff! Like all this stuff! I don't know what any of it does. It's been too long. Yeah, there's no memes so far. That's true. That is a problem. At least the other years had memes. There's, I mean, I guess the Final Fantasy stuff is kind of meme-y. Wee. Wee, hello. Upgrade, hello. Whoever first came up with how to make bread must have been super weird. Oh, okay. I don't know what's so weird about bread. You don't watch trailers anymore unless it's Monster Hunter. Why not? Spoilies? Yeah, because you've, you've played the Soulsborne games, right? Oh yeah, Devolver's- <laughs> Devolver's NFT that actually sold, like, immediately was genius. non fuck upable tape. They just sold a VHS recording of their- their, uh, panel. Puzzle Pals. Taffy is a little touched. Taffy is like- he's- he's- he's, uh, he's not quite all there. This is the mayor. I'm gonna have a dance, I guess. Hermits are my everything. Oh. Should we battle? Look at the cop. He's got little cop. He's, he's got cop ooblets. They got cop hats on. <laughs> the wild ooblets keep trying to eat all the shop sandwich boards in, in Badge Town. I keep trying to explain they're not anything like actual sandwiches, but you can't tell an ooblet anything. Look at those faces. You don't trust those faces? I would t I would- I would die for- I would die for this particular ooblet. I love- I love Isopud. I love it so much. Look at its stupid face. Look at his dumb face. He's so good. I named him Clarence because he looked like a Clarence. Clicky Claws is also good. And Gub- they're- they're all pretty good. These- these are all very solid. Very solid uh, choices. You can accessorize them too. This is not how they naturally look. Hard to go back to some stuff when you relog and look at your inventory, right? And if you don't remember what it does too, you don't know what you can pitch and what you can keep and what should be in storage. <laughs> like, that's the other thing in this game, you have storage. The storage on top of it. So this is like your, your ooblitpedia of all the ooblets you've seen. 
A Gleamy. So Gleamy is their shiny. Tot totally not Pokemon shiny. TM. Um, and then there's Uncommon and Common. Look at Kingla! Look at him. Why no gameplay trailers? There's never any gameplay trailers, Dakey. <laughs> there's almost never any gameplay trailers. That's the problem. Charlie is on our rampage right now. Quickie Claws. Kingla is swole. Oh, did you put glasses in a boat? Did did I put? I also gave him a lollipop that's clipping through his eyeball. But don't don't look at that. <laughs> don't don't look at that. <laughs> I gave Clicky Claws a pirate hat and an ice cream cone. And I gave Lump Stump a Band-Aid, which is actually on its mouth, because that's where its mouth is. And Radlow's got a Sailor Hat. Everything is, is how it should be. All, all is right in the world, Hoodlets. Oh yeah, Inscription! I forgot about that day. I've been looking looking at Inscription for a while. Age! Hello. Ugh! Ugh, you missed E3, Age. We watched E3, the uh, future game show. Thanks for the resub, H. How you doing? You missed a really kind of boring show with a lot of kind of boring games. <laughs> and then I decided to play Ooblets, even though I have a billion games that I gotta get through. <laughs> what the hell? Shrimpy Doodle. <laughs> That's the face of a lobotomized beetle. How dare you, Soxman? How dare you say that about Clarence? He is a beautiful boy. He does not look like a lobotomized beetle, my ass. Look at him. Look at that beautiful face. Look at him! I give him glasses too. So glasses, a bow tie, and a lollipop. Look at him! What is F free? Oh, E free. E, -E free. You know, you know, E free. It had that that guy with the face in it. There's a lot of Final Fantasy too. Um, yes, so. There's apparently an update somewhere. Here we go. What is this? D let's do it. I don't know what it is, but let's do it. <laughs> oh my god, the Samus what? smug emote is so good. The ha uh, hay face, not the smug one. Something really weird happened in the wildlands. The whole town heard a really loud noise. But by the time we got here, there was nothing to see. She definitely- this girl looks like she lives in a Starbucks. <laughs> Yo, apparently Starbucks is having difficulty right now getting ingredients and people are like flipping their shit because there's no caramel syrup. I feel bad for people who work at Starbucks. Yeah, right, Ziggy? I was- I was wondering if it's just that we're getting old or if games are just bad. Um, I think it's more that the games that they show at the shows are not- very good or very exciting games outside of like the wholesome direct. This game is super cute, Sox, but it's so chill too. Nobody's really sure what happened, but whatever it was, sure freaked out the local Ooblets. You haven't even seen the dance battles yet, I gotta show you guys the dance battles. Most of them ran off, and the ones that stuck around have become really skittish. I'm hoping to revitalize the area and provide friends for the native ooblets by repopulating it with more little pals. So this is where you send all the ooblets you don't want anymore. <laughs> there will be notices here about what we need for our repopulation efforts. We can also drop off any ooblets you have if you're running out of space on your farm. This is like the equivalent of in Pokemon when you would like release them from the PC. Only this is to help you not feel bad about what you're doing. With your help, we can make the wildlands into a great ooblets refuge. Make the wildlands great again. All right. Our current goal, add one more lump stump into the wildlands. All right. Who is being sacrificed? Not you, you're a good, you're a good lump stump. You're level 17, I need, no. I gotta go back to the farm and, and take one of the, the lump stumps and send him away. <laughs> Are there sexy ooblets? Let's look. Charlie found a bottle cap or something. Um. Almanac. So these are the ooblets age. If if uh, if you were to say one of the ooblets was sexy, um, who would it be and why is it Nuppo? I think I think Nuppo is is probably is pro probably the winner. M maybe Ugum. Like Legsy's pretty good too. Legsy's got legs. 
Cactus, no. Gumble. Diddle. They ran out from all the 20 ingredient drink requests, oh no. There are some very good games already out, goes back to playing Eve. Yeah, that's honestly, I don't like, What? why is this one spooky? Why does it look like this? Look at the spooky like elixir, it's got all these weird bubbles around it. I don't know why that one's so spooky. Um, I feel like most of us probably have that one game that you just keep going back to that is uh, addicting or has staying power or whatever. For me, it's Monster Hunter. It was Dota for a while, but uh, I just feel like it's it's hard when you have that one game to go to other games, unless you get really burnt out on it. What is the PP with eyes? This? <laughs> Spuddle? <laughs> Does he look like a PP to you? I haven't seen a PP that looks like that before. Triple A's have gone down for the most part, but there's nostalgia goggles that play too. I just think it was very, like, I think a lot of us have been gaming for many, many years at this point and have seen the same kind of themes or gameplay styles for games over and over again. And there aren't as many games that are truly innovative at this point. So that's when I see, that's why when I see something that's really cool, even if it's not like a, 10 out of 10 game if it's conceptually interesting in some way or is an interesting art style or something different that I haven't seen before. Um, it sticks out and I want to play it even if it's not necessarily the most polished thing. <laughs> Legsy is fishy on me, oh my god! <laughs> Slap Legsy's knees. Fishy on me. I just have the basic bitch Legsy, unfortunately. Those are the eyes of a killer! Spuddle? I think you're right. Thank you, H. Thank you. Thank you. You want games not a paid internship at Space Capitalism? <laughs> oh, the, speaking of it, the freaking, um, what was the Bethesda space game that they hyped up and it's, it looks so boring? <laughs> it's like, there's a very, very hype, like, uh, so hyped up around it. And then when they actually showed the trailer, it was pain. Star or something? Starfield. Starfield looks so boring. <laughs> Folks say nowhere isn't actually haunted. But I saw what I'm pretty sure was a giant monster wandering over the woods. So it's flying there over recently. Oh, so the update is in, is port forward, but I don't know how to get there. I can't go there. Oh. Why though? So what does this mean? It says come back when you've advanced a little, but what does that mean? <laughs> I want to play the update, but I, I'm not advanced. I guess I gotta go to nowhere. It doesn't give me an indicator. I'm pretty, pretty sure it was Seinfeld. Seinfeld would have been would have been more entertaining than than whatever it is. Great camera placement. Yeah, I, I am. I have become gimbal. I am her head. Ooh, look at these little spookers. All right, let's let's uh, let's party. Why are they all following me? Help! <laughs> Who are all these people? Who are you? What am I supposed to be doing? I'm lost. Ooh. Oh, okay, so last time I was playing this game, I guess I was dance battling with a bunch of ghosts to figure out where a temple is. Because reasons. Let's do it. I don't remember anything about the combat system. Look at the spooky, look at the spooky ooblets that they have. All right, we're obviously gonna pick uh, Isopud because he's a good boy. So each ooblet has a deck of moves and it consists of special moves that are unique to that particular ooblet and moves that are shared by all other ooblets and you pull a hand at random um, throughout the throughout the match and choose the moves from that. It'll be easier if I just play. I'm gonna pick that guy because he's OP. 
And we're gonna pick Mom Stump because they're kind of OP. So Isopet, if I remember correctly, is more of a defensive ooblet. And this guy is more of like a status ooblet. And this guy, I think, buffs itself and is like attack ooblet. And gameplay style isn't necessarily the biggest draw. You're a sucker for a JRPG. People want more of the same out of souls. Yeah, I mean, people are freaking out over El Elden Ring, and it's basically Dark Souls 4. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, ears. It's a card Bethesda game. I hate Bethesda, so I wasn't expecting anything, but I just th thought it was funny that they hype all this up, and then it's just bland. Hi, Loose Cannon. How you doing? Shrimp is Sunday. Welcome on in to Ooblets. Ooblets. <laughs> Outer Worlds, not Outer Wilds. Don't get my hopes up. Outer Wilds is the game I care about. Um. Alright, so. We jamming. So they're dance battles, and the way they work... The way they work is each team has a point limit. So mine's on the left, opponent's is on the right, and you're supposed to reach 30 points before they do with your moves. So I'm gonna start, you, you have a certain number of beats per turn, mine's on the bottom left so I have four beats. And I can use these in any combination as long as it is not more than four. Like this this card is four beats to use so I'm probably gonna use this because it increases their beat cost by one per move for the rest of the battle which is stupidly broken. <laughs> the balancing has some issues. <laughs> Play Outer Wild Socks, man. You gotta do it. So I, I used up all my points. You can see my beats are out. We're gonna end the turn. Stun a random ooblet from either team. You stun- you- you- you bull- You st oh, okay, they stunned my- my dude in the middle. And they stun themselves. <laughs> Alright, so we can do... We can steal five points, but they don't have any points, so that's not that useful. Um, the th I think the Fluster is a temporary addition that makes them use three more beats. Nice emotes, Age. Nice. How's the music? It's too loud. It's very loud. I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hunker down. Look at him go. I like this like Halloween dance party. You want shrimp pug in the <laughs> Charlie Pug was so dumb age. It looks so stupid. I want shrimp comfy. I feel like shrimp comfy would be good. And I have I have a visual of it being like the little shrimp icon like head but the blanket is like a tempura shrimp like fried blanket i just don't know how you would make it look like it would look like fried in a tiny size look at all this stuff all right we're gonna drop one of these bad boys when the crowd is dancing more than the people in the circle oh you only you only really dance when it's your turn the crowd's going ham, though. <laughs> look, look at- okay, look at the ghost dancing. Just like, gently wake one. That's the other thing, too, is so many people have comfy emotes. I kind of like having certain emotes that, like, not a ton of people have. Like, um, shrimp is fine. That- that emote is probably the one that most people don't have. Some people have their own version, but... I know my other ones, like the hype and the high, other people have their inversions too. And the dirt face. Okay, so... I forget what the hype does, so gain three points and one hype. Let's see what it does. I probably should have used the thing that increased their beat cost, because that's really OP and I think it stacks. You can verify that you've- oh, you've never seen the Ahigao toilet paper? That's good. I mean, there's plenty of Ahigao. There's plenty of Ahigao emotes, but not the toilet paper. Oh, I think the hype increases some of the 
beats that you get on the cards. I think it increases it by one for each hype point. Bitsy Boo! I don't know what the fluster does. Oh, okay. So fluster... Okay, so these things that are like gain three points, steal five points, so the points are affected by the fluster and the hype. Hype increases it by one point, fluster decreases it by one point. So since I have one point of hype and one point of fluster, they cancel each other out and all my cards are at their base value. I'ma steal your shit. Give me them points. I'm gonna have my lump stump twerk in their face and steal their points. <laughs> Yes! You're working on an uncomfy emote. Are you really, Tonda? Are you really? That doesn't- that doesn't sound very wholesome. <laughs> the cost increase does not exhaust. No. As far as I know, it, the, the game's not very- it's not a competitive game. <laughs> it's not very well balanced. Um... Can I end it here? Gain two points. Yes. My points. Defeated. You win! Clarence earned 200 XP. Oh, he get, he's grown up so fast. Look at them go. Oh, side key. I was trying to remember the name of the little robot one. Yes. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Why is this lady dancing with a bunch of ooblets in the woods? Why wouldn't you be dancing with a bunch of ooblets in the woods, Age? Have you seen them? Have you seen what they look like? Have you seen how they dance? You telling me if you you telling me if you found a bunch of ooblets in the woods, you wouldn't have a dance party? I don't believe you. You do it. We do it. My main, especially the little robot one. Look at him. He's cute. I lost. So anyway, the tar is just up this this pathways. How <laughs> this person's name is Howling Horror Horror. Howling Harb. <laughs> ah! New Ooblet spotted. What is it? Look at this. Oh my goodness. This person has a, a, a bat mask with googly eyes going opposite directions on it. Oh, the Harb. The Harb. Might let me through. Creep cult is No! Not Clarence. I have Clarence. Clarence is my boy Isopud. I don't like this Clarence. <laughs> Ha, huh, never. But maybe if you can beat my ghoulish glanter team, I'll capitulate. I'm easy going like that. Okay, let's fucking go. Look at these guys. Totally not a Pokemon. Glanter. Oh, is it a G? Glarence. Oh, for- oh, I thought it was a C. For, for Glanter. Thank you. Thank you. I was just thinking, I don't know why I was thinking during all this Halloween stuff, but I think it's because of all the spooky movies that we watched, I was thinking of doing another movie night soon um, with Psycho Gorman, probably, because that's on Shutter now, and I think that would be fun, but I don't know when it would be a good night to do it. You like you like Rad Lad? Should we pick him? He's pretty good. Look at him go. Um, this guy? Yeah, I, I always pick this guy because he's busted. <laughs> yes. Movie night, yes. Um, how about... I don't really know what they all do anymore. We'll pick Clicky Claws. I think Clicky Claws steals stuff, that's why I put a pirate hat on him. Oh, here we go. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Okay, so Red Lad's got Slow Jam. You earn six points after two turns to form up. So while they're warming up, you can't use them for any of their other moves. Let's go. They got moves! They do let them go! Someone said movie night. Yes, I was thinking of Psycho Gorman, if you guys would be interested, but I don't know when. But I have it on Shutter, so it could be anytime. Uh, little Lindy. So we have four points, so we'll do both of these. Gavot. Gavot trucks. Someone got paid to make these dance animations. I think it's a team of two people age. I think it's a husband and a wife. And they actually- they had a kid recently, so they're developing a game on top of doing that. 
Uh, I would, uh, yeah, I'd love to work on a game like this, uh, but the game industry does not seem very fun to work in. It kind of seems like a nightmare. Look at his bat mask. Uh oh. What? Are, what is all this shenanigan? How many things are? What? Excuse me. They just did a bunch of stuff and they're all hyped up. Um. All right, we're kind of in trouble. I can't steal points. I can't steal any points. Uh, cause they don't have any points, so we're gonna... I'm gonna add... I'm gonna do this, because if I add three fluster to them, even if I can't steal points, this will reduce all of their point gain by three. Until they remove it. This is a very strategic game. Uh, and we're gonna gain two points. This is like, like, Hearthstone, uh, Hearthstone level of strategy here. Pumpkin's Kato gains zero points. Nice move. The AI is a little, <laughs> AI is a little uh, not smart. So if I like, if I, oh, gonna be sure. If I just keep spamming it, so they they have no beats. They keep using moves and like not. Or if I if I keep spamming the fluster, they'll use moves even if they don't gain anything off of them because the AI doesn't understand. Bluster very well. Blap. So we need 35 points to win this one. Okay. Oh, and this this one's busted too. You play the next move twice, so if you do this with an expensive move, it just kind of breaks everything. Hobberty Gertie! These move names. Someone got paid to move these to name these moves too. Taranta Lantern. Like if we do this, my th I just realized like my whole team is stunned. <laughs> so you can't use the moves from the guys that are stunned. So Clicky Claws and Rad Lad. These are their cards. They're spe special moves. You can't use them when they're stunned. You can just use the basic bitch ones. So they have these like player battles, but if you battle the wild ooblets, that's when you can actually gather them for your own party. Sometimes you win ooblet seeds from the player battles. Oh, <laughs> is everyone dead? Why can't I use anything? Yeah, my, my two guys are stunned and my entire hand is moves from just those two guys. <laughs> This guy here, and that guy there. You can't see my cursor. But the guy on the left and the right with the X over them, they're both stunned! And these are all their moves, so I can't do anything. Steal zero points is very good. You guys are doing great. Gain zero points. <laughs> the AI is so busted. Alright, gain one hype. So now I can get eight points from this other thing. Yes. Very good. Gain zero points. This is, this is a very exciting match. They just, I think the, their whole purpose is just to constantly stun. Gain, oh, there we go. That's the winner. It's the, exact, it's the exact amount of points I needed to win. Calculated. Look at Rad- look at- look at this Rad Lad. He stops. He was jamming. Look at- look, look at him go. He's stunned. <laughs> Ego. He briefly forgot that he was stunned to, uh, to do a little dance. What is in the back? The ooblets shaking their asses? Oh, the- the one with the long legs. The one with the, the long legs. I don't know the name of that one. <laughs> That's a very good one though. I don't I don't know the name of that one. It's um let me see if it's in the book. A doop doop. Time for me to skulk off into the darkness of the night. Okay, bye. Have fun skulking.
Got fun storm in the castle. Um. Yeah, what is that one? It's not in my book of ooblets. It's this thing. It's a question mark. Mystery ooblet. It might be in this specific area that I'm in right now and I didn't unlock it yet. It's like a rock with legs. <laughs> These are very good designs. Oh, now we're gonna fight a granny. Those tarnation creepsters! One of them jumped out and scared my sweet Oogum off into the wild. Oh, we're not gonna fight her, we're gonna help her. He's a big boy, but he's very timid and all alone somewhere out here. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Fushi! How you doing, dude? How's it going? Welcome on in. Welcome to... to Ooblets. <laughs> Fushi, have you been watching E3 at all? We were watching some E3. I don't know if you have any thoughts on it, but, uh... Kinda underwhelmed with what, uh, what we saw tonight, at least. The future games panel was not, uh, not super futuristic. It's a little disappointed. Clab! Look at that clab! Wait, you got Captain Krabs emotes too, Age? Does everyone in my chat have Captain Krabs emotes? <laughs> I've, I've inflicted so much of my uh, my, uh, my audience on support on suspecting Captain Krabs. <laughs> my chat my chat has crabs. Okay, so I have to retrieve uh, something. I gotta I gotta retrieve her gum, which looks like. Oh god. Who's that Pokemon? Which one is Ugum? <laughs> I don't remember! Spuddle? Uga? Dumbler? Uga? Ugum? This one! He looks like a sad eggplant. <laughs> oh, I miss hunting with you too! You, you know what? Like, I don't think I'm friends with you on Switch. I do play still. Um, a few times a week. If you want to add me on Switch, I'm on. I I'm so bad about playing with people on Switch, though. I don't know what it is. Like, when I was playing Monster Hunter World on PC, I a lot of people in chat that I played with. Um, I just feel like it's a lot easier to play with people on PC. I don't know what it is with, like, the Switch's friend system. You can't message people, right? And be like, hey, do you want to play Monster Hunter? Would, would you like to play Monster Hunter with me? You can't, like, there's no message system unless I'm just dumb and I don't see it on the Switch. Like, I know PS4 has messages you can send to people. But Switch, it's just like they want to not let you communicate with anyone whatsoever because they're afraid people are gonna, like, yell at children or something. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand Nintendo consoles. Um, but yeah, I've actually- I've been playing a ton of Monster Hunter Solo just because I'm so bad at, uh, at being like, wanna play Monster Hunter with me? <laughs> Give him a cowboy hat. Who? Ugum? I don't have an Ugum. Do I have an Ugum? I might have uh, might have put him to work on the sweatshop farm. I do have an Ugum, but it's not her Ugum. It's my Ugum. He needs a race bowl hat. I don't think that's politically correct. Local streamer gives her Jack Krabs more to live. I feel bad. Captain Krabs is having some. He's having a rough time right now. Captain Krabs is a nice guy. He's 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 got some health issues he's dealing with right now, so he's struggling. I'm in his Discord. The best message on Switch is an Animal Crossing it oh message system, and it still sucks. Well, you'd think it would be good because you actually have a touch screen you can type with. None of the other consoles have that. You either have to get a USB keyboard or you have to like fiddle with your controller and try to type something awkwardly. Switch also doesn't have any voice chat. Um, which is awkward, so you get people playing Monster Hunter doing voice chat on Discord and just avoiding the whatever communication system the Switch has entirely. You didn't have these before you visited my stream, what are those? Krabbits? They're not quite as cute as the Captain Crab- <laughs> Captain Crab's emotes. <laughs> I'm sorry for the crabs, x though. So. I, I take no credit for those crabs, though. Oh, she's not letting me buy until I find her damn Ugum. That's the thing here. She's, she's, uh, <laughs> she's, like, blackmailing me. Blackmailing? I don't know if that's the word. She's, uh, coercing me into finding her friend. Or I cannot progress. Where is he? Oh my fuck, he's a fucking unit! Look at this Ugum, he's so big! 
<laughs> he's a brick house. <laughs> he's, he's actually the house. He's looking at her wall here. <laughs> Why is he so big? Did he eat? He he must have ate all the other ooblets. I think it's the only it's the only way. Oh, they have a smartphone? A smart a smartphone app? Thank you! He's a base. <laughs> yes, Ugum. <laughs> you just socks lane, you gotta get on it, you gotta put Ugum's face on that. <laughs> we, need, we need another Oog's wall. Uh, what do you think of Monster Hunter Stories 2? It looks so cute! I played, uh, did you play 1, Fushi? I played quite a bit of 1 and I stopped maybe like three quarters of the way through because it's like it's it was really well paced and then all of a sudden it's kind of like regular Monster Hunter where it's like really good difficulty pace and then suddenly there's a wall and the difficulty curve just goes like, <laughs> like way up but instead of being like regular Monster Hunter where you progress through that wall by learning the move set and and uh, gearing up kind of naturally through battle. You have to grind. So I'm hoping that the stories two is a little less grindy, but it is an RPG. So I think that's just kind of how they are. Um, but it is fun. I think it's more fun than Pokemon. As someone who's played both, I think it's like a better version of the Pokemon battle system because it actually incorporates your knowledge. Um, for Monster Hunter stuff in it. So, like, if you know that you in the regular Monster Hunter games can use, say, like a Sonic Bomb on Diablos when it's burrowing, in the game, Diablos will do a move where it burrows, and if you use the Sonic Bomb, it stuns it for a couple turns, so it's cool, because it rewards your knowledge in the same way that the regular Monster Hunter games do. Um, and I, I think that's uh, pretty unique. Did someone say Sonic Age? You missed it! The, um... <laughs> so, <laughs> they advertised for the future games panel that Sega was gonna be there, and the one thing they showed was a Sonic Colors remake. <laughs> uh, and I don't know how you feel about that. Oh, I bumped into- <laughs> ah, He joined my party! I bumped into him and he's like, hey. I'm um, one of you- <laughs> Look at him! He's so busy, he's literally gonna eat my whole party. Help! Get him away! He's uncomfortably close, take your Rugum, please, take him. You found him! Oh, thank you, Snaps. Please take this reward for bringing my baby back to me. Is it brittle? Is it peanut brittle? It's always oh, roast dregs! My favorite! Just like Grandma used to make. <laughs> Blah. Blah. Bring up the menu. Oh, you- I- Soxman, are you seriously- so are you seriously making a swallow gum right now? I mean, I'm not gonna stop you. If you if you really want to make Ugum swole, <laughs> like, go for it. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop you, I was joking. <laughs> I don't- so the story, I think, is vaguely continuous. As in, like, if you skipped s stories one, it's not gonna matter. But if you did play it, it will reference it in a way that you can be like, oh, that's that thing from the first game. Which I think is kind of a happy medium. Because not a lot of people played the first one. It didn't do well over here, and I think that's why they're constantly hyping it. There's been so much ads and publicity for uh, Stories 2 versus 1. You knew the Colors remake. Okay, never mind. Did you play Colors Age? Pokemon is really repetitive. I'm glad you said that, because I feel like there's people who just are really excited about the Pokemon games when it's the same thing every year. And people just flip their shit. I guess people did get disappointed in Sword and Shield, though. Like, they finally snapped and said that's enough. And then they're they're making that new, like, Pokemon open world RPG that looks so bad! Is it Arceus? Or what was the Pokemon, Pokemon open world RPG? They announced it in May, so why were they hyping it up for E3? I guess because no one knew about it? You have your original copy, so you don't even need it, Skelly. Opens Photoshop, uh oh. I'm scared. You fucked up, uh oh. Did you lose the Ugum? Did you lose it? You need me to do it? You need me to show again? You could also do Clarence, the, the isopod, he's a good boy. 
Not not really slow swole. Clipped! My clips are disabled because I didn't want to get dim kid by by E3. <laughs> Animations look scuffed. I don't think people play the Sonic games for the animations, but I could be wrong. There are parts of colors- oh yeah, Generations is kind of like all of them put together, right? No, Pokemon Gum, what was that game? The Pokemon Gum game? That's not Pokemon. It's a modern 3D Sonic game. I think the last one I played was... I can't remember the last Sonic I played, the modern one. I'm gonna fight this guy. He's barefoot. Is he barefoot? Dreadful Drake. He's got a Frankenstein monster mask. Let's go. Chicka ding ding. It's time to do a duel. Chicka ding ding. Chicka ding ding. Hey, Dark. How you doing? Dark, you missed E3. You missed the future games show that had absolutely nothing. <laughs> you missed it. How could you? Not shake a ding ding. Oh, the worst. <sighs> my throat. So I hurt my throat in the stupidest way. <laughs> I was hanging out with Age and I was like literally trying to sleep on my side and I turned my head and a piece of cartilage in my throat popped out of place. And it felt like I had a Charlie horse in my throat. So I had to like pop it back in place. And it still hurt for like five days. So I stretched my neck. And then I hurt my neck in the back when I was stretching it. <laughs> so basically I just I've just gotta kill over and die. <laughs> oh I tried to help and hurt something else. <laughs> Oh, you need to play Mania, Skelly. Absolutely. Age will, will uh, agree with that. I don't know who I should pick. This seems like to be the OP dream team, these three here. It's not my Adam's apple, it's a piece of cartilage by my fat right. Your neck looks mad stiff. It is, Age. I can't move it because it hurts. It hurt in the front and now it hurts in the back. Oogum. O-O-G-U-M. Oogum. Growing old, gross. As soon as you turn 30, it's just downhill from there. I've just turned into a decrepit husk. Just, you, like, each year I become more and more shriveled and hunched. Gradually. Isn't that Adam's apple? It was he- It was, like, here. It was right here. And it hurt. It literally felt- It just felt like a Charlie horse in my neck. Have you done that before, Bajang? It sucks. It sucks. Grandma Shrimpy. Ooh. Yeah. All right, we're gonna use this one because it's busted. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Chiropractors are bullshit, though. I need to. I need to go to physical therapy. Is what I need to do. I need to train my muscles so it will be less weak. Chiropractic is is not the way. Just to shine over poor myself. Oh no. To be fair, I wasn't much better in my 20s, so... <laughs> I've always been kind of frail. The, 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 this game has some jams. Alright, we're gonna... Uh, we got four points. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna steal five points and add three fluster. I'm gonna take almost all their points and decrease what they can get with their cards. No, you can't- you can't do that! You can't do the same bullshit that I just did to you. Excuse me. They- they decreased my beat count, I increased their- their beat requirement. <laughs> you don't- you'd have gone to a chiropractor already if it were cheap. Chiropractic is bullshit. I will- I will die on this hill. Chiropractic is bullshit. It's pseudoscience. It does not fix anything. Unless you have like a completely, clearly dislodged thing in your back, in which case you should probably go to surgery. Physical therapy fixes things. Most things are more for muscular imbalances. And weak muscles. Uh, gain one point, gain one hype. Gotta move. All right, we're gonna do this. Just some spooky- yes, yeah, spooky Pokemon! It's- it's uh, this is like the Halloween town level of the game. It's not normally this spooky. 
I might add... Yeah, I'm not gonna add a move to my hand because I'm not gonna have points to use it anyway. Since your poor self-massage plus exercise, that's more than chiropractic would do for you, to be honest. I'll do this just for shits and giggles. We'll see what it gives us. Nothing! Nothing I can use. Chiro chiropractic stuff. You can Google it if you're really curious. It has no scientific backing behind it. No scientific backing behind chiropractic being beneficial. It's along the lines of Reiki in my mind. Like it helps some people, but not for the reasons you think it does. It's probably, when you're cracking your back, it's probably sending all sorts of endorphins and adrenaline through your body because your spine is being pushed in a way it shouldn't be, so your body's like, what the fuck, and then it reacts in that way. So you feel good because you're doped up on your body's happy chemicals because it thinks it's in danger and pain and is trying to reduce that. That's my guess, how chiropractic works. You want your spine popped. I don't know why. <laughs> Butternut squash! What? Gain a beat. Give me that beat. There is no need to pop your back. It doesn't fix anything. <laughs> it doesn't! Maybe you expected an official Sega Sonic game to not look like a dirty cash grab. Wait, what? Colors does? Alright, what should we do? Increase their costs. And the other thing with chiropractic doctors is a lot of them try to push supplements and shit too that also do not work. They just feel- they're very scuzzy. A lot of them. Gain two points. Steal four points. Earn three- oh wow. We got- we got so many choices. This one's free, so might as well. Your teacher fixed your back? <laughs> what sort of teacher? The other day you popped your neck and it made your toes tingle. Yeah, you probably uh, compressed a nerve. That's that's a thing. How do you know it's not a suppository? How do, how do you know? Oh, martial arts. I was just picturing like your math teacher, like. Your math teacher, like, awkwardly fixing your back in class? <laughs> like, what? Just get a hold, just gotta beat you up on the street, it's free! There you go. Alright, so, this is- this battle's going pretty well so far. Let's do this. Oh, hey, this- this is the good- this is the good shit right here. Seven points and two hype. Seven whole points. Lump stomp is- is busted. Alien, please. We need, like, oob ooblet, please. Get your, get your dommy! Not- Dork, not everyone can afford a dommy, okay? That's some bougie- some bougie shit. Not everyone has a dommy mommy. Big- big titty, uh, dommy mommy. Your back gets stiff, but the thing is, you could you just, just stretch. That's the thing. Like, the back popping is just people who don't want to stretch or exercise, thinking it's gonna fix something. <laughs> you want to know what math techniques he was experimenting on the class? He was showing, uh, he was demonstrating trigonometry, different angles. Muscle dummy in demand. Everyone wants, everyone wants a muscle dummy mommy. Doesn't matter. Does not matter your sexuality. Um, play next move twice. Okay, here... Okay. Watch this big brain. The big brain play here. So we're gonna do the next move twice. We're gonna gain two hype. And then that'll give me five points from this card. Yes. Big brain. Hi, Aristay! How you doing? Welcome on and welcome to Ooplets. Welcome to... to jamming. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I'm saying, Skelly. It's like, it may have a benefit, but it's just, it's not the benefit that they're touting. Like, they're, it, it's not doing what they say it does. 
basically. It's not like realigning your fucking meridians or whatever. <laughs> it's the same thing with Reiki. Like, my mom does Reiki. It's guided meditation, and it has its benefits for that reason, but it's not the reasons that they say. Yeah, hanging from a pull-up position, that's a stretch. That, that helps, uh, help stretch. This dance battle will end in two rounds! Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know they were timed. So is it whoever has the most points? After that time? Alright, we're gonna... I don't have enough points for this. We're just gonna na gain nine points into hype because that'll win it. Like a pull-up bar is, is definitely a good idea. Just dangle. Just dangle from like a door frame or something. <laughs> they have pull-up bars that you can actually attach over the door frame that seem kind of risky. I was looking at those when I wanted to get swole. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Fair play. I'll see if there's somewhere else that's receptive to my hair-raising haunting. Okay, dreadful drink. Have fun doing that. Can I pick these mushrooms? No. I don't think they're actually mushrooms. <laughs> we did it! Last time you got your upper back to pop, you did a stretch. You know what is a good stretch for the upper back? As someone who has the tightest upper back in the entire world is a uh, child's pose, yoga pose. You basically, uh... Kneel and put your feet like splayed out and then you put your arms flat on the floor in front of you and it stretches in between your shoulder blades and it feels real good. When is yoga stream? I mean, I am wearing leggings, so I'm already dressed for it. <laughs> I'm already dressed to get this, this hot uh, twitch bits. Who's this? Hi, I'm Spooky Steve, the spookiest fella around. I've been told I'm endearing. What do you think? I want his mask. Maybe? I've heard that the locals around here aren't too fond of you cultists spooking everything up. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Show me how to yoga. I'm not yogaing on stream. Yoga poses are, are very... Some of them are very suggestive. Okay? Like, like cat pose? Cat cow pose? I would feel very self-conscious about doing that pose. Like, in public. Like, people do in yoga classes. That's a suggestive pose. And people do, people do that in public. And people fart, too! People go in- people get in these yoga positions and they fart. <laughs> or they fall asleep. I took a yoga class once in college. And there was definitely farting and falling asleep hell, from people, and it was funny. <laughs> but it's just because there's certain positions in the body that expel gas. This, this is just, they, they fart so bad. <laughs> it's natural, but it's really funny. Five minutes of yoga. Five minutes of yoga would be like 10 billion shrimp chip points. You moved the 187 cubic feet of wood. I mean, there are good stretches. I do a basic stretching routine for my upper back daily. That's pretty simple. Um, not so much yoga, but my upper back is like fucked. Age can attest to it. My upper back is so fucked. My shoulders are uneven. I have to go to PT at some point for them because my left shoulder is higher than my right shoulder. Because I sleep on it, I think. What's great is doing yoga in shorts with my dick and balls. <laughs> You know, don't, don't tell me you do that, Hopa. <laughs> I mean, it's not much different than the women doing doing yoga in the leggings and the yoga pants and camel toe, like, on full display. It's, it's not much different. Preemptive yoga bits, thank you. People fart. Now you know. Dudes wear tights doing yoga! Oh god. You see the whole, the whole meat and potatoes. <laughs> I've heard the locals around here aren't too fond of you cults. Cults is spooking everything up. Hmm, I never really thought about it. But now that you mention it, we are pretty inconsiderate, like, with, like, the whole haunting people deal. Tell you what, if you bring me five bunglebee buns to munch on, I'll head home. My art's not really in it with all this anyway. Bunglebee buns? I'll- I'll be back. So, I fought my way through this, like, deathmatch gauntlet of ooblets to get to this man, and he wants me to bring him sweets. <laughs> so I have to go all the way back! 
Excuse me. People have a hard time dealing with penis. I blame the media. I, I blame I blame modern media. For real though, like at least in American culture, it's so prudish. If you watch movies, there's so many movies where there are women naked on full display, yet you will not see any sort of naughty bit on the dude. They don't want to show it. Like to the point where when you do see a movie and there's there's a penis in it, it's like, whoa! <laughs> Where'd that come from? Like I remember I remember watching Train Spotting when I was a teenager. I'm like, whoa! That's more of Ewan McGregor than I ever expected to see. I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> did, did not expect it. It's like, on full display. Okay, we gonna get some bumblebee buns. I don't know how to make them, but we're going home. Angie Cheesy, hello. How are you doing, Angie Cheesy? Thank you. It has been a minute. I haven't been streaming much either. <laughs> Hey, Shram. It's been a long Hello. Time. Thank you. you well. Thank you so much, NGG, for the 27 months. How you doing? How's it going? How's your weekend going? You catch any uh, catch any of the E3 shenanigans? We were watching some earlier, but not much going on for the, the future games show. Pee pee gay. Pee pee make men scared. Why is it gay? Why do pe why do people think like why I feel I don't know, it's, it's like just guys being not very assured in their own masculinity or sexuality or what. I feel like men are way more afraid of being seen as gay than women for like being like, that's a good looking dude. Like women will say, yeah, that, like she's she's pretty or whatever and not, like they'll say that when they're not gay and no one will question it. But if a dude is like, oh, that guy's handsome, people get uptight about it. I don't know why. American men don't have, don't have not even American men are built like uh, Ken dolls. What is this? What what is this? I wonder what this empty shop is gonna be. I I wonder too. Maybe in a future update. <laughs> what dork? What what? I'm assuming you're uh, you're singing a song. Pee pee makes me scared from my wavering sexuality. It's spooky. You missed E3? Uh, no, so you missed like a couple of panels, RSJ. Oh, God. Not much. Did you see the Elden Ring trailer from the not E3 panel? That was that was probably the only thing worthwhile talking about so far. Um, but E3, the like the main stuff that I think is tomorrow starting mostly. I think it is just like Xbox and Bethesda really? today. A lot of really generic shooters. Heck yeah, Congo, how you doing? How's it going? We'll come on in. I gotta talk to everyone. Gleamy goulashes. Oh, I can take orders to make money, but that's this, this too much at this point in my life. <laughs> Whoop -a -doo. Whoop -a -doo. Hi, Milu. Whoop -a -doo. I've uncovered a conspiracy of the Badge Town elites to exclude me from friendship and happiness. How else do you explain my lack of friendships and happiness? Good point, Milu. Good point. They don't- they don't, uh, they don't appreciate your worth. Are you good? Buddy? I'm trying to sell stuff, like, on top of this person's head. <laughs> oh, no! I don't know. You've been pretty confident in what you like, tried it, and didn't like it. It ain't no shame in it. No! And, and I feel like... I feel like, uh... People are just very uptight in general in this country about sexuality and all that stuff. It's not anything to be to be ashamed about. And it, it is, it's very, like even nudity, it's very jarring going to like Europe. Like when I went to Iceland, um, there's this, this outdoor hot spring and they, you like, people were bathing in it like, they, they would bathe in it and then they would go, there was like a wash down area afterwards to get all the like gross hot spring water off you and the mud and stuff. And in the bathing area, 
I walked in, like, in my bathing suit, everyone was, like, just naked, like, ass naked in, like, the, the shower area. Everyone's just ass naked, and I'm the, the American, like, in my full one-piece bathing suit, like, don't look at me. <laughs> it was just, like, naked! It was just uh, it's culture shock. I was just walking around so casually. But that's normal. I gotta make bumblebee buns, and I don't know how to construct them. Do I purchase them? <laughs> Let's see, recipes. Please don't tell me I need a recipe for bungalby buns. Roast dregs. Bread, uh, bread sammy. Manuka cake. Go, go, cupcake. Pig, beauty curd. None of these are a bumblebee bun. Maybe that is. I might be able to buy it from the coffee shop. Doesn't- doesn't tell me how to procure a bumblebee bun. How's the farm doing? How you guys holding- oh, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff these oobs got. Thank you. <laughs> Just all the- the stuff that- so... If you have enough ooblets on a plot of land, they will automatically pick it, too. And you can just walk on it. Oh no! What happened? I didn't put a, a house on this one, so these all died because I forgot to water them. Oh no. Oh no, sweetie beaties. Can I save them? Or is it too late? Oh, it's not too late! They can be saved, so you just gotta water them! They're just lightly wilted! Bring them back! <laughs> Bring them back! They're recovering! Oh, phew. I was close. I almost lost them. <laughs> Moulin Rouge, the start of the elephant song. But you replace song with Tom. <laughs> Very clever. I've, I've never I've never seen Milan Rouge. That also had you and McGregor in it, didn't it? You did see the Elden Ring trailer on YouTube. What you think, RSJ? I know you you like uh you like Soulsborne. I'm I'm curious what the Soulsborne folks' thoughts were on Elden Ring. Outside of uh, it kind of looking like Dark Souls Four. You didn't see it? Oh my God, NGG. Oh no, Mul oh, Mulan Rouge, I thought you were talking about Elden Ring. I'm like, please watch. <laughs> please watch the Elden Ring trailer. No, uh, Mulan Rouge, I don't know why. It did not uh, appeal to me. That was the one with like, uh, did that have Christina Aguilera in it? I'm making that up. You've been deep in the ocean with Subnautica. Ooh, are you playing it in VR, NGG? Is it in VR? It seems like it would be terrifying in VR. <laughs> It's, it's the original Subnautica was terrifying enough not in VR. I can imagine it being very spooky. It's bedtime, but I'm picking muzz. I'm out here picking muzz. I just watered the ground, it's fine. It's not just the US, no, but the US is definitely very prudish compared to a lot of countries. It did have Ewan McGregor in it, okay. You and, you and McGregor is a very attractive man. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I got a. <laughs> I completed a task that I didn't even know I had. Is that snowing? Is that snow? This is new. I don't think it snowed before. Yes. Get them nernies. Get them odds and ends. Yeah, frozen. My plants are freezing. Oh no, what do I do? How do I. This is a- this is- uh-oh. This is bad. This is a new mechanic and I don't know how to warm my plants. <laughs> Are they all gonna die? I like the little smiley face snowflake on the top right as my entire fucking farm is being decimated by frost. I'm gonna go to bed and just pretend nothing happened. <laughs> and pray that my plants thaw. Because I don't know how to fix them. How do you- how do you protect plants from frost if they're already out there? You're into the trailer, nothing new. It, new. it looks like Dark Souls. Yeah, like very much like Dark Souls 3, right? I mean, it is the same engine, um, but even like the magic and stuff, a lot of it, it looked like Dark Souls 3 to me. Nicole Kidman was the female lead. I think I'm thinking of the Moulin Rouge. Oh, you know what I'm thinking of? Lady Marmalade. I'm thinking of Lady Marmalade. <laughs> it was from the movie, right? <laughs> you can. Oh, it's oh, it's not naturally VR. I didn't know that. I thought that was like a perk of it, playing it in 2D. But it's still very spooky, I'm sure, right? 
When is lobster made yoga? On your stream? Sleep until morning, yeah. All my plants are dead. All my, all my, all my plants are dead. You and McGregor kind of hangs out in your neighbor. Wait, what? What? In your in your neighborhood? Like, have you seen him in person? You're watching a show with Ewan McGregor where he's a, playing a fashion designer. What show? The, my my first. Oh, uh, why did I oversleep? And it's still snowing. Look at that. Look at that happy snowflake on the top right. Happy little snowflake destroying all my crops. Um, my first. The first Ewan McGregor movie was Velvet Goldmine, which was also super gay. <laughs> so Ve Velvet Go Goldmine is a weird movie. It was supposed to be like loosely based off of, I think, David Bowie and Iggy Pop, who had a thing going on. And like, that era. Oh! Thank you. Oh, blessed. Blessed mead. This is the little old lady that runs the... The seed shop got my back here. It's snowing. I think it's the first time it snowed since you arrived. When it gets this cold, your crops will freeze, but don't worry. They'll thaw once it gets warmer again, and if you don't want to wait, you can put some me melt is a melt the meltalizer meltalizer <laughs> meltalizer on them and build heaters. They'll thaw any that have already frozen. You can buy meltalizer from my shop whenever it's snowing. Here's a sample. Thanks, Mead. That seems safe, right? Put building heaters by your plants. Seems good. Melts frozen crops and lasts until it stops snowing. As a fun little bonus, the melted ice waters the crop. Oh, that's actually that's cute. Look at at the snow. I gotta put my snow outfit on. Gotta change my clothes. It's cold. I'm gonna put a sweater on. And catch a chill. Oh, how about this sweater? Yes, that's- that is certainly ugly. I don't have boots. What am I gonna do? I have this ugly bear hat. Yes. Pants? Do we have warm pants? What is this? Oh, that's very good. Um, oh, boots! There we go. Nice clipping. <laughs> how do I make my feet work? My feet are all clipped. No. Look at the boots! Ooh, overalls. There we go. That's the look. There we go. That's very winter. It's very appropriate winter wear. It looks like all the pants clip, unfortunately. Ooh, oh. There we go. There we go. Was he in that stair goats? You dress as a lobster maid and do yoga, but you don't have a stream. Why not, Draconic? Do you have a webcam? <laughs> if so, you can make it happen. I- everyone's hankering- everyone in this town is going to end up severely diabetic because they're all just like, give me sweets. Give me every sweet in existence. I still have to figure out how to get bunglebee buns. <laughs> look at- look at the- look at the animation! But walking in with a giant triangle head, like the weight of it. Look at her head. Like, her head like lolling. <laughs> One of your rural neighbors buys and restores vintage Volks Volkswagens. Oh, that's cool. I wonder, are they doing good business right now? I'm like looking for a used car at the moment and now is not the time to buy a car, apparently. It is really hard to do anything related to cars right now. I want to pick up this thing on the grounds, um, because it's like a shortage of stuff. Dear Journal, there's a new person in town and I think I have a chance to befriend them before all the lousy people here turn them against me. Who dis? Who dis? Um, I'm gonna see if I can buy bunglebee buns from the coffee shop. I don't oh. think I can, but I think I may have to procure a recipe for bunglebee buns. Bert's got a beret! This is just all coffee, okay. Sorry. 
Sorry, I was mistaken. I, need, I require bungleby buns. I require bungleby buns. And a... Oh, look, 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 look! She has that- she has that stupid- look at- She's got that ooblet with the legs! Look at it go! It's the one that age was like. Look at that thing. <laughs> look at it go up the stairs! What is it? What is that ooblet? What is this ooblet? What is your ooblet? Look at it! It's got little boots! Look at it- look at it wiggling! Tell me about- uh, tell me about your ooblets. I want to start a union, but everyone in town is their own boss, so I've met some opposition to the idea. <laughs> Who unionizes? Toot toot hat. You have no lobster made outfit. I'm sure you can find discount lobster lingerie on the internet. Okay, Google, how do I transform into a lobster girl? Speaking of lobsters, you guys see that news story about the guy who was lobster fishing, like in this neck of the woods, Massachusetts, and uh, a whale tried to eat him? <laughs> it, sh it shouldn't be funny, but uh, it does it's just like very bizarre. This man almost got eaten by a whale. And then it spit him out because it was like, nah. Used car prices are up like 10%. It seems more. Like I'll see, I'll, I see a bunch of like 2003 cars with hundreds of thousands of miles on them and they're like $7,000? Thank you. Thank you. I think it was a humpback whale. I think, I think it was a humpback whale. And it just, it spit him out. So the chip shortage thing, I was actually reading it. Hello? Um. After I found all these missing pens my oblets had been squirreling away, I was sure I was gonna make detective. I guess good old-fashioned police work isn't valued around these parts. All cops are bad. All cops are bad, he probably abuses his oblets. Um... The... Um... Car prices. So the chips- the chips apparently, like, most of the chip stuff is in, um... T Taiwan? And I was reading how they're having a shortage of, like, basic stuff needed to make chips because of global warming. Causing droughts. And it's a real problem. Just stay away from One Punch Man once you lost your world transform. <laughs> what? Someone is clipping through this house. Do you have bungleby buns? Excuse me, sir. Do you have bungleby buns? That's a peak snaps pickle, so no. Look at all these hipsters. This is a bop, though. It was a humpback. Yeah, and it spit him out. Yeah, they're not- they're not uh, carnivores. He just happened to be in the way. <laughs> How do you not notice a whale coming at you? <laughs> like, it can't be moving that fast. Nowhere ooblets might be a little scary, but they're highly sought after. I gotta go get me some of them nowhere ooblets. Oh, maybe they're in here. Bungleby buns. Is this a bungleby bun? No, that's a front bun hun bun. <laughs> front... It's a front bun hun bun. <laughs> oh, where do I get me some bungleby buns? I'm on the lookout for little recipe pieces, because I'm assuming it's a new recipe that's been added since I... Yeah, I played last. There's a little sparkling piece of paper hidden. And if you get enough of them, you can combine them into a recipe. Is there something under here? Nope. Oh, something under here. Nope. They use a lot of water in chip manufacturing. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Um it's it's definitely definitely a bad time. And I'm not sure when it'll be remedied. And it's like everything uses the chips now. You get phones, you get cars, you get uh, consoles. Like people keep talking about the uh, the Switch Pro, but there's no way they would be able to make enough of them because they can't. There's already shortages on stuff. If they were to release it, there'd just be so many shortages. What is this badge? Give me. Give me that. I got one gummy. It's like a penny. It's like finding a penny <laughs> under the sofa. 
It's like the, the human equivalent. Oh, you have swallowing a bug. The wheels is like, what's that? Ugh. <laughs> Gross. It's good that it has the instinct, though, to spit them out instead of, like, try to consume once, once it's already in its mouth. And I don't think it would end well for either the person or the whale. Hello, do you have bungle buns? I was wondering, do you like living in Badge Town? This guy's an asshole. I happen to find Badge Town's innate, uncultured naivete charming. Also, Mother stopped paying for my townhouse and poured forward, so I have to live here. It's like those 980 Ti's that suddenly cost $500 a day. I sold my RX 480 for $430. It was used and like four years old. So yes, it's stupid. It's very stupid. I sold my RX 480 that had been sitting in a closet forever. And then a couple nights ago, I got like a weird green artifact on my screen and I almost, I, I freaked out. <laughs> I thought my graphics card was dying after I sold the other card. I thought that was that was my my uh, karma for selling the other card for market price. Oh, look at this shell! These are worth a lot of stuff. Curly, I th is it that shell? One of the shells is worth a lot of stuff if you sell it. What is this thing? My pockets are filled to the tippiest of tops. Uh oh. No, I don't think I have my backpack equipped. That's why. We gotta equip our backpack. We need more spots to pick stuff up. The sad, the sad sack pack. Yes. Do I have like a big, uh, big burly backpack in here somewhere? Or is it backpacks? Mega, the mega rucksack, and I believe that expands my inventory enough to pick up. Yes, the snow plop. Beloved snow plop. Round formation of condensed snow, thought to be formed either naturally or by bored ooblets. Did the whale make a funny noise with the person stuck in its throat? It's like. <laughs> Good night, Risu. Thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna wrap up soon, too. I'm just I'm enjoying ooblets. It's so cute. Ooblets and chill. Allow me to. No, you're not gonna reflow my graphics card. <gasps> there is a Rad Lad t shirt. Oh my lord. Put this on my body. Where's my stuff? I keep. I cannot remember the menu. Am I gonna have pants on? No. It's fine. All right, what matches with the red lad? Dark jeans, or gray trousers, or blue jeans, blue jeans, slippers? That's the look. That is, that is the look. B black, <laughs> why is there black? You're gonna wander. Good night, Draconic. Thanks for hanging out. You remember the game we thought Geralt might be in from the E3 show? Oh, his name is Doug. Doug Cockle? Doug. Doug Cockle. But was it was it him in the show? Is the real question. Was that actually uh, Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Cockle? No, no, CD Projekt Red is like in in horrible uh, developer hell at the moment, I think, trying to, desperately trying to catch up. Do I have so cool glasses already? I don't think so. Um, desperately trying to fix Cyberpunk even though no one's gonna care at this point. Yeah, the game is still buggy. Wow. I'm gonna take off my hat. Look at that styling. Beautiful. That's the look. So she, her hair is like what my hair should look like right now. <laughs> That's my normal haircut. My hair's too long. This is not winter wear anymore, but it's fine. I still don't know how to make a dang bungle bun. I do. Give me them bungle bun recipes. Do I have enough 
recipe pieces. No, you need four recipe pieces to make one recipe. It's our sprinty press. It's not a piece of a recipe. Imagine just walking around town in slippers. Doesn't seem very practical, but very comfy. Pipe Piper, but Ooblitz is basically Pikmin. <laughs> like, yeah, basically, basically Pikmin following you around. Take that badge. Is this a piece of a recipe or one gummy? It's one gummy, yes! So exciting! I have, I have many gummies. I'm just looking for recipe pieces. They're typically in, in like the NPC houses, but I don't, I don't know uh, where else to look for them because it's been a while, and it, only a certain amount spawn per day. I'm assuming. I hope I don't have to get all the recipe. Oh. I hope I don't have to get a bunch of recipe pieces and then just like randomly generate the one that I need. This is official notice of an investigation of Badge Town for reported violations of the council's town maintenance guidelines. Attached, if found in violation, the town will be disincorporated and its residents relocated. No action is needed. That's a little, a little sus, as the kids say. Shro, hi! How you doing? How's it going? You love my crew? My, my ooblet? <laughs> my oob gang? <laughs> Thank you! Have you played this show? This game is super comfy. I guess I, I, I love that you can you can accessorize them. You can put little hats and stuff on them. That's honestly the best part of the game. Is just putting bow ties on everything. You're playing Tro. You're playing you're playing League? What happened? <laughs> what? You used to play good games like Dota 2. What happened? What happened? Uh, how the mighty have fallen. I got a piece of a recipe! Heck yeah! Will it be Bunglebee Buns? Assemble! How do I assemble? Oh, this button. No, it's a soothing sip! It allows you to use your bed at any point during the day to sleep and it's always like a cup of chamomile tea! Nice! So how many recipes do I have? There's like a list of them somewhere. Uh, right there, real recipes. Um, so I could potentially unlock one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different things, and I don't know if any of these are the thing that I need to progress. Oh, who did I ban? <laughs> did you say? Did you? Sh Shro said. Shro said the p word. Shro said, Shro said, you said, you said, you done said the word. I had, you got timed out. Did you say pussy? You said pussy. Why? <laughs> that's from, that's from the, the time we did a cat themed uh, charity stream. And I preemptively put that in because I didn't want to deal with people's bullshit. <laughs> But yeah, I saw you were talking about Wobble Dogs. I think that's actually on my my uh, wish list. Have you played it or just seen it? It looks it looks uh, amazing. Wobble Dogs and also pop. I don't know if you've seen Paparazzi. They were showing that at the Wholesome Direct too. It's just it's just a game where you take pictures of dogs. That's all you need to do. I just explained Retro. It's because we did a charity stream for the cat shelter. I still have the thing here. We we sponsored a kennel at the shelter that I got Charlie from. I don't know if you were around then, Retro, I can't remember. But we raised 750 something dollars for the animal shelter I got Charlie from. And we dedicated a kennel and the costs for the supplies for the kennel for the year were covered by $500 and the rest was donated to the animal shelter for like surgeries and stuff that they do on the animals. You were there! So that was for that stream because it was a cat stream. So I figured people were gonna try to be funny and say, oh, this is a pussy stream. Oh, so funny. So funny. Was a worthy time out? No, it fell! I'm sorry I scared Charlie. She got so freaked out by that. 
Think she had flashbacks to the shelter. Age now. Hey, guess what age? Hey, 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 guess what age? Ha! Ha! <laughs> Huh. I timed him out for one second, he did not get banned. <laughs> he was timed out for one second. <laughs> I'm just asserting my dominance <laughs> against his, his font, his font uh, evasion of my chatbot. I, I, I mean, I'm in control here. Is this a piece of a recipe? Yes. Now you've done it. Now you've done it. Excuse me. It's bedtime, but I've got so much energy. Gotta run. <laughs> Running animation! I maxed out for run. I think you can like, you can, like purchase uh, running upgrades if I remember correctly and I maxed it out. <laughs> gotta go fast! I gotta wrap up, guys. It's like 10.30. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed in the game and in real life. It is time. It is time. No! Stop. Stop! I cannot, cannot allow. Cannot allow in my chat. Oops. What the hell? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Man, I love that shirt. Look at that- that red lad shirt is so good. Thanks for hanging out, guys! Ooh, I'm sorry. Ugh, excuse me. Thanks for hanging out for, like, E3 shenanigans and for ooplets. You're sorry? Why are you sorry? <laughs> you didn't mean to start an insurrection. No, that's just age. That's just age. <laughs> that's just what he does. Oh! <gasps> Is that an uncommon shrumbo? Why does this penguin have like toes? But like people toes, not like peng look at the penguin. They're just feet. That, that makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> You're not an imbecile. You're not an imbecile. Okay. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. It was it was a very chill stream. Um, I might. I, I know I said this last week. I'm probably gonna randomly stream during the week again at some point. I don't know if it'll be E3 or. There's not much good left for E3. Not like. It's not like there was anything good to begin with with E3, but. <laughs> um, not much going on. But I might. Uh, I gotta finish Mundown. I, I was planning on playing it tonight, and then Ooblets happened. So. Um, yeah, but th again, thank you everyone for hanging out. Thank you, Onimusha, for modding. Thank you, Age, for being very quality uh, VIP. Thank you. Very, very important uh, pussy of the evening. And then we got, we got uh, resubs. Thank you so much for the resubs, guys. Um, thank you for the bits. Thank you for hanging out, everyone. I'm gonna find someone to host. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Th thank you, everyone. It was chill. Nice, uh, nice chill stream. Um, who should we host? Wow, Purge Gamers is streaming. <laughs> you might stream Outer Wilds on Thursday. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, let me know, Soxman, because I'm not always logged on to Twitch. I'm not always logged on to Twitch, so. What the fuck, Purge? I'm trying to figure out who to host. So I could host... Shoko. Oh, Shoko's been gone for like seven hours. I probably shouldn't. Um, I could host Captain Krabs drawing an anime pirate. <laughs> or I could host uh, Mandy playing Subnautica below zero. Or I could host Kilgore doing alien logic. Or I could host Soxman playing absolutely nothing. I don't know what you guys want to watch. You want to watch Captain Krabs draw an anime pirate? I don't know how long he's going to stream, but he's drawn an anime pirate. It looks... Let me look. Let me poke in here real quick. It's probably going to be like, why is this person constantly writing me? I don't think I want to do pig legs. He's drawn... He's really drawn an anime pirate in there. Lobster. Get it? Lobster. He's... he's you guys... You guys want to go say hi to Captain Krabs? You got his emotes. Y'all... Y'all got your Krabs emotes. 
<laughs> Some of you. <laughs> we got we got many uh chat has many crabs. Many crabs. I don't have like a raid thing, is the only thing. Anyone have a preference? We got rave, we got crab rave. Yeah, so if if you want if you want to raid Captain I guess we'll raid Captain Crabs. They're on a pirate. He's on a pirate. He's cool. He's a crab VTuber that I have hosted once before. And I think he's I don't know if he's trying to go for partner anymore, but he was at one point. Hey, Captain Crabs. He's nice. Yeah, VTuber. Dork, I'm I'm still I'm I'm still eagerly awaiting Dork's uh, VTuber debut. Eagerly awaiting. Someday. Someday we will see Dork in his final form. Uh, big stretch! Alright, so how did Captain Crabs, guys? He's very, he's a very cute VTuber, very nice guy. He's drawing an anime pirate. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys around the Discord. Or wherever. <laughs> good night. Good night, everyone. Have a good week. See you around. Bye-bye.